I don't know. What, what, what do you want to face? Yeah, let's put it in here. Hey guys, welcome to the... Oh, there's nobody. <laughs> Your little Ellie. We'll tilt this down. So they can see me painting the table. Yes. Somebody's going to say something about me painting. You got to use a roller. You got to do it this way. Mm -hmm. Mark, that thing's not right. They say don't, <laughs> Cristiano, <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo don't know how to play football. But the, the people, the fans, the fans knows. But some of them do know. They have expertise in this stuff. We still have zero. Zero people. Yes. Probably and we bad. are like zero. Ah, we have one person. One like. Wow. Thank you. Thank y'all for showing up. Oh, Mark, they cannot see your face. They don't need to see you. They don't need to see you. Who, who am I? You, 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 you think so? He's careful. Yeah. Look at that. What? Because I waited, half of it is, is semi dry. Hey, we have three likes already. Wow, thank y'all for being here. As you can see, we're just painting up some furniture we made. Mm. We're going to put it outside. It's going to be dug into the ground. It's going to be so we dug. We Oosh, thought, uh, we have uh, 10 people already, three really? likes. Mm. Kevin, can you tell them what this video is? This video is a Q&A video. I think we said on the other video that we are going to do a Q and A video. Yeah, somebody wanted, but for specific uh, types of questions, do you remember what topic they wanted to discuss? I think so. Wait, wait, which topic? Maybe I know. I Catherine think. got her, got her thing going too. Mm-hmm. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> you know what? I always take a video of you on my channel. <laughs> Yeah, you're taking a video of the video I'm taking. <laughs> and I'll be doing the same thing. Sometime. You'll be doing the same thing. The same free. thing. Hey, we have nine people. One person has left. Thank y'all for being here. <laughs> As you can tell by the title, this is a Q&A. So yeah. If y'all have any questions, let me know. Yeah. But I think we should do like a Q&A and like maybe any topic you have that topic that we discussed what is the topic you remember what about the, the, the yeah it's about logical and emotional oh yeah Ooh, yes that's a good one we might have to change the name of the title or add some more to the title depending on where our conversation goes. yes you want to tell them what we were discussing? Ah, uh, we were talking that. We were saying that, um, we were, first of all, like, we need to tell, like, what is, is emotional and what is logical. In regards to relationships or in life? To anything. Okay. To life in general. Yeah, we were talking, we were referencing it to uh, people in their relationships. Mm. but it applies to everything yeah everything and the issue is we don't really think anymore yeah we're very um emotional, emotional. yeah and i was telling catherine i was saying something Catherine. you remember what i was saying <laughs> yeah you just say because i don't i don't know <laughs> well i was telling catherine yeah we, well we were discussing it yeah. wasn't a debate but it was a discussion mark you're painting on the black Nobody's Ooh. gonna see it. This is the outside, outside furniture. Yes. <laughs> They'll be saying, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is what it looks like when you've been working for three, five, six, seven, eight days in a row from morning till night. Mm -hmm. Small things stop mattering. Yes, yeah, stop mattering. It's all. Yeah. So let's proceed. Um. I don't know. Do we have any questions in the comments so far? Nobody has Nobody. asked any question. Do we have anybody watching? Ish. Oh. <laughs> this is the question. Oh, no. <laughs> Mark, you already know. I don't know what it is. Mark, you already know. This is it person about I... us being in a relationship? I... Leaving us. Are you two dating? Oof. Catherine, you want to answer that? Um... This is a long time question, you know? People have been asking a lot. I think the answer is simple, but Catherine got a complex way of looking at it. 
What do you Because I'm logical. She's emotional. I'm not emotional. I am not emotional. I'm logical. Nothing I don't know. I think that. all the women are emotional. They say a woman's job is to connect a man's head to his heart. Guys, like... She's the spine. Like, uh, I don't know. I think all the women are emotional. You gonna answer his question? Huh? So you gonna answer his question. You already answered. You said I, I am I am emotional and you're logical. Mm -hmm. So these things cannot be around each other. They cannot understand. They're supposed to understand. They cannot understand. Logic is fully understand. Yes. Emotion. Understanding too much. Emotion. You know it's like it's like me, I can say, okay, me I'm emotional. I can say I want chocolate and you'll be like, chocolate is bad for your health. <laughs> <laughs> Emotion is what do I want? What Logic do I want? What do I need? What do I need? Why do I need? You say I want chocolate. I say you need ginger. You need ginger. <laughs> you need some of that ginger. So it's very hard for people like who don't, who cannot understand each other to be. But well, we get it pretty really much. Kind of kind of we get along really well. Uh -huh. I think you're making them think we don't like each other. We don't like each other. Ooh, Catherine, you gaslighting them now? Do we have any more people saying anything in the comments? Um, good morning, good morning. morning. Me, let me let me start reading people's names. <laughs> Ooh, this one's finished. I just go. Is either yes or no? <laughs> That's what I thought. Oh, <laughs> the answer is oh. <laughs> The answer is uh, uh, uh. the answer is uh, uh, uh. the answer is or or the yeah. middle word. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Women, women are, are emotional That's and men are that. logical. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Good YouTube. Morning. Good morning. Morning. How are you doing? Oof. We have twenty people here. Thank you guys for the twenty people and the eight eight likes. Yeah. Again, you gotta talk to the folks. Yeah, talk. guys. So please give us twenty likes yeah. and stuff. I mean, talk to them. We we already have twenty one people. What should I? Yes, like um, what should I talk now? Is there anything you think the people should know? Or let me ask them. Do you guys can maybe they can't hear me, but do y'all ask them? Is there anything y'all want to know about what? We're Hi, guys. Good to see you too. Thank you. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Catherine, don't. Mm -hmm. Hey, you said Catherine, don't to do what? No, no. I'm saying just ask them about what. Do they have any questions about what we're doing? You have any question about what we are doing? That way they don't ask us any questions. We can them. hear you, Mark. They can hear you. Ooh, they hear me cursing somebody out over here. <laughs> Hi from from south florida hi how are you doing hope you're doing fine hello you guys hello much respect and love from new Orleans. yeah so let's go with our topic yeah it is a q a y'all have any questions about what's going on over here outside of if we're in a relationship yeah like you know these things here let me turn it to you why why you want to turn into me no don't, don't. I'll be over here painting. You what, Mark? Yeah. I don't like. S Sitting alone. Yes. Then bring it over here. Here, you can move it this way. This way will be. Ah, this. because you you have finished here. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to trying to put me on a pause. On a pause. And on then I'll a be pause. Not going to do anything. I'll be touched. Yeah, so are you going to go on, on on saying that topic? Which? The one we were talking about, Which logical part? and emotional. Because it's not only in relationship. These things plays a big role even in like real in life. life. You know, when it comes to food, when it comes to anything. All I know is the devil uses people you like. No, the devil, them. yes. And God uses strangers. And you know what? It's to say that the people who, they say guard your heart. It's funny enough, that book people say they read tells you to guard your heart. Mm. And most people don't do that because, again, they, they have this emotional response to people. Somebody could slap you in the face ten times 
and you say, well, I still love them. Logic says, no, that's not okay. That person's not okay. But the heart tells you it is. And the heart is, is not always very smart. It's not to say you shouldn't be emotional at all, but it is to say that the mind isn't going to lie you to you. You should, like but but uh, this, this is, that's why a lot of people get hurt and they end up regretting things. But Catherine, that's manipulation. Think about it. Yeah. I think emotional is there to manipulate. It's yeah, emotion. That's marketing, Catherine. You know, marketers, the be the way they can market, the only real reason marketing works mm. is because they have this emotional response. People respond emotionally to things. Yeah. So instead of telling people, hey, you need this paint because it's good paint, a logical person says, oh, I'll take the paint. Mm. It works. Mm. Emotional marketing is well you know they'll show you the sad backstory and how this paint helped cure something i don't know <laughs> and it works yeah that's why they do it we'll fight true so you want to say it's better to be Im to be logical but no i want to say you have to be balanced to be balanced you're in an imbalance the right, right but at the end of the time if you you be like there is all the time most of the time there is this wall between like into yourself within yourself like logically and emotionally yeah but you that's know? just that's just every everybody's got to decide and i think it really is a matter of um i don't know Kevin. yeah there's an internal conflict but i don't think it's that difficult hmm. it, it makes are, you look it, strange sometimes yeah, yeah but people are so busy trying to get what they want that they don't see what they need that's where that emotional response is always there. Like you said, I want chocolate, but I need something else. Mm. They say the devil is what you want. Yeah. God and the devil you um, uses emotional. He loves emotion. That's why the Bible says people. you guard your heart with to all To attack diligence. God's people. And I use the Bible a lot because it has a lot of uh, good information in it. But mm. even beyond that, it's like a common mm. sense argument is you have to sometimes give up what you want for what works yeah if you refuse to bend on what you want then of mm. course you're going to be attacked in some way economically what is good from south georgia hey guys us this topic isn't so what juicy. this topic is not juicy yeah we're just trying to show y'all that we're still building over here yeah that's it what are you painting mark tables <laughs> tables to be put we're gonna dig these tables about six or seven inches down yeah we didn't say what we are doing yeah. on live so what are you like for what this table tell people like these tables are what gonna for? go out there out yeah these are outside eating tables oh for like restaurants yeah okay those kind of questions so you ask guys hmm? those kind of questions or just throw us a conversation topic. Yeah. We want to talk. We just sometimes when Catherine and I get on camera, we don't know what to talk about. <laughs> we'll lose all our motivation. It's so strange. Good Is morning that? from Holland. Good morning. Orland. Orland. Okay. Ireland. I don't know. Or Holland. <laughs> Holland. Okay. Y'all got that trouble saying H when march community is going to be open next week next week <laughs> i hope well partially open every day next week <laughs> technically it's already open we have diaspora coming here yeah people are coming to see the progress and stuff Ish. Oh, wait. Easy. Let me use emotional to carry this chair. <laughs> Let me use logical. <laughs> oh my god. You know, I think I got a phone call from a woman mm. today. Yeah. And she was telling me, mm. and she's from the UK. Mm. Lovely elderly woman. Mm. We talk all the time. Yeah. She called me this morning and she said mm. she made a point that we had mentioned in the last live mm. where we were talking about you know what this world actually is and you know some of those things mm. and she says we have to she says she likes the point we made about 
Where is the place located? Which place? This is right in front The Maj community. Right here? We are across the street from Jangwan. Jangwan is sea breeze? Um, let's see Africana. Yeah, right at Africana. Yeah. A lot of people know where that is. Or maybe uh, nearby Serene Hotel. Yeah, well, there's two Serene Hotels. One there is Serena there. and Serene. Well, they sound the same. I don't think if Serena is around here. Really? I don't it's know. In, it's in the downtown. Yeah. But people can mistake it. I did. <laughs> I mistook it three times. Ish. I was on a boat and they, I, w I told him to go to Serena. Didn't know there was two. Ah. He went to the middle of the town. I said, where are we? I got mad at him. I said, man, this ain't the place I said to go. Looked at the sign and it's Are you guys Serena. the same age? Are we? I don't even know how old you are. I am 55. I'm 73. <laughs> but tomorrow I'm 30. Tomorrow. So it depends. <laughs> it depends. Are we, Catherine? Let's, no. Catherine, I think, is a little bit older than me. Mm, I'm very old than you. Really? Mm. Really? Yes. I don't know. I'm your baby. She's not a baby, but she is a little older than me. I am a new subscriber. Are you two dating? Dame, these kind of questions. No. We are not. Are we, Catherine? Are you? Do we need to start a relationship drama? Do one of those things where they... They do that? What Gina Reyes! But guys, I don't want to pray for Mark. He will be like, oh, I'm going out. You're going to get them spirits of inside of you cast yeah, out if you start yeah. that. I'm a new subscriber. Yeah, this is a new subscriber. Thank you for subscribing. Yeah, are you guys dating or you a co-worker? Co-worker? <laughs> I'd like to think we're friends. We uh, Both options were wrong. Which open options? They said dating or co-working. Yeah. You are truly an inspiration, Mark. Thank you. Hopefully we can get this done and I can go inspire myself elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> They are not dating because Catherine is a married woman. Ooh, Catherine, you want to talk to him about that? I love you all. Pure hearts. Stay, stay, uh, stay real. My cousins. Why, why are you not talking? Who, me? <laughs> oh, yeah, you know I'm looking at this paint as it drips down. Okay. Okay, that was easy. It wasn't easy, actually. Yeah, guys. Okay. Kevin, you want to come sit on this bench? You want me to come and sit? You're already... Well, no, this isn't really a bench. You're already tired. Do we have guests? Please. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I want to see what they're saying to Okay. Me. Catherine over here, doing a video. Me, I like to... <laughs> Making a video. He's over there, fuck. I can't. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. Fuck. What? Amen. Amen. Okay, let's see what they're saying. Thank you for the 50 people here. 52 yes. and 25 likes. Somebody, John Anderson said this topic is not juicy because you are avoiding the questions. No, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. I gotta dance around Catherine sometimes. I can't say too much. Yeah, he cannot because he knows. I gotta, what's I gotta make next, sure it's good. What's next after this? He knows. <laughs> She'll be beating me. Hey, hey. I'll be like, why, why did you say that? Oh, look at that. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? What? I, the Lord, search the heart. I test the mind, even to give every man according to his ways. Yeah, do not lean into your heart. Guard your heart guide if it's your good, heart. but if you... That's why it says guide, you you, you guide your heart with, with all, all diligence. Because God knew that here is where 
you need to protect yourself yeah. because if you use your mind it's very hard to be hurt yeah very hard mark paint in the same direction to have some so guys i'm gonna show y'all this table because of the weight of this paint i didn't thin it out it's not like a wooden table paint. no it's not it sinks in and it's, it's actually leveling it's like a itself warp. out it's like a wall paint yeah this is oil paint enamel this yeah. stuff evens it's it levels out i wish i could show them but it'd be hard to see on the camera yeah. but he's probably right <laughs> some some of the brush marks are around the edges no what matters is people will be eating on the table to uh, eat on the table somebody said you two have gone through a lot of transformations since you since you first met what has sustained your friendship through it all what 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 do you think so i don't know because there are times that we were like damn <laughs> Thank you from Chicago. Yeah, I don't know. I think friendship is not like now. I th I thing. say friendship. The good friendship is the friendship where like you know, like you can fight. It's not like fighting. We don't fighting. fight. Yeah. It's like just like we you, have like debate. Yes. And she'll be like, I don't know. I'll be but like, I don't but know. still, still you cannot be like, oh, let me like just cut off this friendship. We tried once. Yeah, you don't have to dislike a person just because they don't like what and you And people like. are like, oh, where is Mark? Where is Mark? What, so what did I answer? I was like, oh, Mark is... But I knew. <laughs> I knew Mark was like hating me by that time. I can't hate Captain. I can't hate people. Mark was like... I ain't got no reason to hate Damn! You. So what has sustained the friendship? I think it's a it's a respect and understanding to the fact that we're two different people. A lot of stuff we agree on, but sometimes we don't agree. And to be a friend is to say that I understand that you're different from me and I accept that. You don't have to be me and I don't have to be you. So when we run into a disagreement, to understand we each just, other. Like yeah. we we kind of like have the same same language we speak the same language we understand each other yeah if i make a point i could break it down to her in a way where she'll hear it and understand it. yeah that's and that's even if she doesn't thing. agree with it she'll understand it yeah and you know there are people who are like they, they like mark may, might say something that i disagree yeah and i say no 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 you know you have to understand that he might have like respect his opinion yeah you know that's it understand that this person is a living breathing thinking person mm. and they have a different idea than you they've lived yeah. a different life not to say they know more or less than you but it is to say that everybody has come to the conclusion they have based on whatever logic they applied to it mm. and if you throw that in the trash and say i'm right because i'm right well then you've discredited that person you've almost called them stupid yeah so if you can respect the person and say you know what i may not understand how you came to how you understand this topic but i know that you have your reasoning for thinking the way you do yeah. and over time maybe you'll see it my way or maybe i'll see it your way yeah and oh, leave it at that sometimes even like respecting each other respecting each other each other's boundaries mm -hmm. um look at those beautiful red birds where? that one right there with the red stomach Yes, communication mm -hmm. and uh, what else? Who communicates more, you or me? We do both. Okay. Sometimes what do you I think? Do. I'm looking at these big birds, Captain. Mm -hmm. We got all these animals around us. Yeah. Ooh, I wish I could have met you guys. I was in Dar in December for my daughter's wedding. She moved there and was married to Tanzan and married a Tanzanian man. Congrats, you Trinidad know? and Tobago uh, in the house. You remember the topic we, we said we were going to discuss? What do Tanzania women do? Oh, that's a separate video. Remember yeah. it though. So we have to start it at one minute. Yeah. Somebody said get a spray gun to finish faster. Yeah. No, but we technology. work with what we have. Unfortunately, we work with what we have. Because then I got to get a compressor and a this and this. And then I got to, you know, I don't want to spray the concrete underneath. Or I'll have to put it in the dirt, and it's too much work. No, I got arms, got and I got a paintbrush, so. You guys are great friends and business partners. Thank you, Jesse God. Catherine is an inspiration too. She is. Thank you. What city? Dar. 
<coughs> they are asking questions and not getting any answers. Which, Which questions? questions? <laughs> Why do we have to say the most of us? Mark always asking Catherine, you want to talk about you want to talk to them about that? Because <laughs> yeah, I have to make sure. Me, I have, and this is the thing I had to learn. Is, and even in the States, I was like this. Some things people don't like discussing. For me, if it's there, it's there, and I like talking about it. Because I don't have, it's not hiding it either. I used to think it's like kind of sneaky. I'm like, well, why can't we talk? It's just not the time sometimes. But for me, I'm, I, 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 <laughs> I'm like, okay. Like the lady, she was a, what did I say to that person who I Ooh. thought was a witch? I said, are you a witch? Do you do witchcraft? Because I wanted to know. <laughs> but I didn't mean it like you are. <laughs> yeah. Because if somebody asked me. I I'm don't know. Gonna... I think, I think some other stuff, I don't know. I don't feel like comfortable talking about them. You know, sometimes you have to keep things private and stuff. Oof. I'm a bit private. Jesse Cobb says, you guys are asking them the wrong questions. Why does it matter if they are dating? Focus on the real goal, friendship and unity. I believe friendship is the highest relationship. That's yeah. my personal belief, though. I could explain it, but it's a little Because odd. let me tell them, like, why is it so hard for, like, these things to happen? Because, you know, me and Mark, we have been doing stuff, you know, this business and stuff. So when you get into relationship, you become more emotional and emotional occupies, hijacks you, like occupies most of us. That's what I've been saying. You know? That stuff takes energy. Yes, you only have yes. so much. Ooh, he didn't pick my call. And I'm sitting Ooh. here like... Yeah, that's, yes, that's you know, when stuff. you want to build your life, build yourself, these things are there, you know? So that's what I'm, I'm advising, Mark. You know, these things are there. And this is, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Travel with Dan says, hi, much love from Uganda. Thank you for being here, Dan. Uh, Bike King says, is it hot there? Yes. It is hot. What? The beach is right there, though, right across. That's why it's windy, a little bit windy. Yeah, and we got a lot of trees here, too. Mark, do you have a family member who guided you in real estate and development? Mm, who said that? Cambrella Viele. No, not really. Um, my granny liked real estate. She didn't teach me much about it. Now she, mm, I don't think we talked about it much. I had an auntie that was into it a little. No, not really. My family didn't really do business. They weren't business minded people, I think. Uh, not everyone, but a lot of them. Ah, they are white and black. I just kind of took an interest to it and right. did my own research. Let me, let me Same with Africa. Some people say, Mark, is your family into Africa? No, not even close. It's not to say they hate it. They just don't. They're like regular people, regular Americans. They don't think much about they're it. They're the one which stays at the, the, the beach. I think because of These the birds. beach, yes. No, those are bigger than the beach birds. Those ones sit inside the water. The, beach. like, the shallow water. Oh, somebody gave us some money. The topic is Q&A. They didn't specify the type of questions. For all I know, you can ask any questions. Yeah, ask any questions. <laughs> I don't see why not. You are doing a great job, Mark, I know. Thank you, Bike King. You're right, John. Arts. Oh. Angela Jackson. That, sound, that name sounds so familiar. I love yeah. you both. Here's a small token. Thank you for being you. Thank you, Angela Jackson. She gave us $20. Very mature response, Mark. Not everyone takes another person's perspective into high consideration. Most people I know are dismissive. Yeah, um cutie even i could be dismissive i i think because when you know something and you know you know it you don't always want to hear that someone is telling you it's wrong or there's another you way remember to what it. i told you uh. it's like some other things you know when you know something yeah it's very annoying to be like are you reminding me yeah you know like, are you reminding me it's like i know i know this but yes. you have you still have to back up and say well maybe i don't who says i do yeah it's like when people argue about the moon and the stars well have you been there did you see them up close we're just regurgitating information we remember mm. intelligence is not what do you remember and what do you know how many facts can you say intelligence is how can you figure out how to solve problems that's intelligence 
I'd like my children to be intelligent, not not good remembrance. They're gonna be crazy. If they Is want that them. your house or what? It's like a community building. Let me see. <laughs> the way you're see. bending the camera, doom. I can't show them right now. It's three stories. We got a rooftop too. Mm. It's right across from these hotels. I think the the building's real old, so the old buildings, all of them look like houses. But it's kind but of a cross between. But they all look the same. They do. <laughs> it's a cross you between. See, uh, it is Jaguar. a commercial property, yeah. but it's a it, it's very residential looking. And it's but it is around commercial uh, street. It, yeah, this is a hotel next to us. There's this one next hotel, to across. Yeah. There's no other buildings besides hotels here, mm. so ours just happens to look more residential than theirs. Yeah. Captain but inside D. it's not. Hmm? Do you what? Oh wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. Glad you're in Dar. I know you started up north. Oh no, I started in Dar. I, no. I didn't. I started in Dar. It took me months to get to Arusha. What type of... Okay. Catherine, do you come from a family relatively high status? Mm. Oh, no, not even close. I'm going to let you answer that, but I'll you tell said you. Not even close. Not, I met your mom. Good woman, but she is not high status. <laughs> <laughs> high status, what does, does it mean? Rich. Rich. Do you come from a rich family? No. It's not a rich, I it's don't not come poor. from a rich family. <laughs> it's not rich, it's not poor, you know? Yeah. Not rich, not poor. It's not rich, it's not poor. It's like middle. Middle class. Lower middle class. You know where my dad was working? Hmm. He was the principal in airport TCIA. So really? he was getting a good money. You didn't tell me that. Why would I? Hmm. <laughs> so you're here. It's rare to see such young people making these types of accomplishments. Yeah, we got to do it. Sometimes it's just the time for it. You know, it's not, we had a conversation the other day. It was like, age doesn't always matter. You know, looks can be deceiving. And yeah. it's not to say we know more than the older generation, but it's to say each one teach one. Everybody help everybody. And don't put a label on it. Don't say, mm -hmm. oh, because I've had people approach me and actually denounce this whole project that I'm doing in person, physically in person. Mm -hmm. And they say things like F you. And these are elderly people. 40, one of them was, uh, you know, upper 40s. And he said, you think you know something and da da da. And I didn't do anything to him. And he was upset. And then another elder came, even older elder came to me and said, this person's mad because we in America, our older generation had the, opp some of them had the opportunity to do but something they didn't. and they didn't take it. So when they see a young person doing it, well, not only do they feel intimidated and threatened, but the, it's also a reminder that they had the chance and didn't take it. Yeah. And they succumbed to the demon of rage. But it's sad. He came over here threatening us and all this stuff. A few people. And then and I, everybody tells me, no, Mark, don't feel bad. Those people are just jealous. Or they feel some, they feel threatened by you. And I don't get that. Good work, Mark. Her English is becoming very good. Thank now you, you look alike. TZ, my place, one day will be back. Okay, okay. That's Abdullah Muhammad. I'm using a dictionary. <laughs> Bike King. I have seen the building inside IHOPs. IHOPs in the roof. Oh, have we met Bike King? Have we met in person? Yeah, we have. Yeah, Bike King is who? Is that late? I Mike. don't know. Ish, I have stopped recording. Why? Why? Why now? Tell us a little more about the current plans of the community building project. I love your drive. It's refreshing. Out there, you guys can't see it. Let me point. Out there, right over there, we have this lot in front. And we want to have it so that we can have a bunch of vendors. So it'll be like, a, and I can't say too much because people like to destroy your plans. If you yeah. Speak Remember, the devil is the uh, is the king of the air, which means everything you speak, all the vibrations Mark, you emit. Mark, you said you're you're logical. So if you're logical, these things cannot break your your heart. Which thing? It's not going to break you, me. Kevin, the, the, log the logic says I ain't going to say it because I don't want somebody messing it up. Ah, uh, because you are emotional. Emotion says, well, I feel like they should know. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs>
Yeah, we want to do a lot, y'all. It's funny to see Catherine get your jokes now. You used to have to explain how you were joking with her. Yeah. Ah! Like Before what? you didn't know I was joking. Now you understand my sense of humor. Like what? Like if I would say something like, "Oh, Catherine," uh, I don't, I don't remember exactly, but as an example, my jokes can be a bit strange, and I'd say them before, and you'd be like this, and I'd, I'd have to break it down like, "Oh," and I say it like this, I mean it like this. Yeah, in the past, I think now, yeah. eh, I know there are some. Boo. Boo. Do you network with some other people from the U.S. or bot mark? Yeah, I network with people from the U.S. Oh. I'd like to do more of that Shining Star. It's Did you just, move this one here? I've been so busy. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Here, let's... No, I mean here. I don't know. Let me just leave it. I can't sit on this thing, okay? Why? Because it's going to hurt. Look at this thing. But you have sat here for 15 minutes. I was sitting on this. Which one? This piece of wood. <laughs> wood Even there. To, I have to break my back on that. Break my bottom. Mark, how do you maintain your confidence when faced with bad actors like the previous owners of the merge building? Uh, Cambra, Cam, Cambrella Viele. That's a good question. If I'm, if I'm, I don't know. It's hard to be discouraged it is it's easy to be discouraged but it's hard to be discouraged because sometimes i feel like where are you going okay i feel like um i don't know it's it's easy in the sense of i know what i'm what i want to do and i just keep that in mind and i don't go in 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 like okay if somebody came up to me and and attacked me verbally and said you ain't s-h-i-t and you ain't gonna do nothing and, which people have done I hear them, I stand there, I'll smile, I'll nod because there's not much you can do in these situations, but I have to go ahead and and self med and meditate and say, you know what? That person doesn't know me. That person doesn't know what I'm doing. I think I had a good plan. And sometimes, and this is the part that makes it even easier to not care what they think, is they'll say something that's just inaccurate. Oh, it's gonna be this much, it's gonna be that, and then I know what it cost, and I'm like, okay, they don't know. And I have to see it like that. They just don't know. And sometimes they are literal demons, just in human form, and they're sent to discourage you from doing a good thing. And I have to realize even the laws of the universe and science say, um, what, an object in motion will remain in motion, which applies to evil. If there's a system that is established as evil, anything coming to change that system is going to be met with some sort of resistance. And right now, there is a lot of resistance. Y'all don't know. A project that was supposed to take a year and a half has taken two years now, if not more. And it's not that I'm not doing anything. I don't know. I think, I think it's the same thing as when you said like it has taken like two years and stuff. I think it's the same thing. It's like me when I go to America, you know. It's not like I'm going to develop myself like after like a year or two years. There are a lot to learn before. You yeah, know? Kevin, but and this... you don't learn by sitting down by doing something not working yeah. then that's how you learn but Kevin, so... this place is not like that Catherine. it's not like two years you get used to i think the issue with me mm. is that after this time i still haven't tried to change because you can either you say it like okay you go to america it's going to take you years to adapt yeah to understand the system, how the system works. Yeah, if you put it like that, I get it. But yeah. I thought you were saying like adapt. I will never, no, and I'm serious when I say this, mark my words, I will never adapt to such an evil, corrupt, nasty system as I see here or anywhere, because there was one in America. You're not, and, and because I won't do that, you met with a ridiculous amount of resistance. People automatically dislike you sometimes because you don't do what they do. And they either think you're faking it, like, oh, you can't be that good or you're thinking like you're high-minded. I don't think either one of those. I don't think like that. It's just like, I want to do what I want to do and that's it. The people have to feel like you have to do what they do. And I don't, and I'm doing it right now. I've done this without doing what most people had to do to do what they do here. And I don't feel bad about it. It's harder, but it's not. They say the narrow path is not an easy one. It's not gonna be the common path. If everybody's doing this, guess what? You should be doing that. 
The problem is people are afraid to do something different. If you step out of society, then people look at you crazy. But the Bible that everybody say, says they read tells you exactly that, that the world, because God created the earth, not the world. The world is owned by the devil. The world is ruled by the devil. I had a conversation with the British woman today, Yannette, yeah. and she had mentioned that as well from our last video. She said, yeah. The world is the devil's. The earth is God's. Everything is in line. Look at how the system of society is set up. It's unnatural. They take your basic necessities, water, food, entertainment, safety, shelter, and they take it from you and then make you fight and play and work to get it back. It doesn't make any sense. You have to buy food. You have to buy water. Where, where on earth, where in the world, where in a natural society do you have to pay for basic necessities, things you need to live? We're fighting a system. They say we, we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but mm. principalities and wickedness in high places, right? Just to paraphrase, a principality is what? It's a, it's, it's a principle, it's ideas, it's established evils. It's an established evil. And in order for something to be established, it has to be accepted first. Society has accepted evil. You want to look at the mark of the beast? This is an animalistic society. The world, not just Africa. This is a bigger than Africa. This is the world has been put in a trans. And Africa's the last frontier. Because when people leave America, they're in, in the West, they're not leaving it because they don't like what's there. It has a lot of amazing things, a lot of conveniences, but people there care too much. There's too many overreachings. There's too many stepping over the boundaries, if you will. So when you think about it, people are not leaving because they want they, they want freedom. And freedom comes when I don't have to tell you what I'm doing, when I don't have to have you looking over my shoulder, when I don't feel like some big plot is against me. And even and true freedom comes when I don't have to buy food from your grocery store or pay a water bill. True freedom is living like we were intended to live, but we're all afraid to do that because they took away the knowledge of how to do it. And you talk about the narrow path, the narrow path is saying no to the demonic system that you've been put in. It's truly the narrow path. It's not something most people can do or will do or want to do. We talk about principalities. Look at that word, established evil. It's a very big thing. It's not something that ju that's just going to go away. No. And the true test of honor is, do you accept the system and what are you doing to get out of it? You talk about the matrix. The matrix is not, oh, you know, the working system in America. No, the matrix is a system over the world. It's society. Society is structured in a way where you care what others think to the point of where you think certain things are going to make you happy. You can't even have your basic necessities, which should be enough to make you happy. Everybody's stressed and tired and angry and sad. And those just happen to be the things demons feed on. Anger, mm. sadness, stress, frustration. Yeah. And we don't see it. Come on now. Is right in front of us. And they're sadistic. They love this stuff, Captain. They're sadistic. Demons are sadistic creatures. They put it right in front of you and they sit at the top laughing at you because you care what society thinks. Oh, this is wrong. A hundred years later or 20 years later, they'll change it. Now it's right. Mm -hmm. Before I'll give an example. Gay rights. I'm nothing against the brothers and sisters that are into that, but let's say that as an in example. The past it was wrong. It was wrong. Now it's being pushed as right. And if you're against it, it's wrong. Society can change its mind like this and everybody will believe it. So when it. you fall it, you Ooh, are Wait, 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 Catherine. You know what that is? Mm. That's demons sitting on the top, principalities and wickedness in high places, mm. literally high places, laughing at you, saying, look, they believed it. Look, we told them this was good a hundred years ago or 20 years ago, like smoking, right? Mm. All those ads that said smoking is good. Smoking makes you beautiful. And people truly believed it. Coca-Cola, which used to have cocaine in it. It was healthy, prescribed mm. by doctors. Uh, Pepsi and Dr. Pepper, which had what, lithium, lithium something in it. Yeah. All these things were bad and they were established and then pushed on the people. And again, for it to become established, it has to be accepted. We accepted it. We refused to look into it. We refused to do our research. We took it as convenient. We took it as easy. And guess what happened? We got trapped in the system. When you want to trap a bird, you got to put a, a little bit of seed right there. Yeah. And it'll go peck it and then bam, you pull the string and the box falls on top. And that's what happened with people, the older generations. And I mean, like before these older generations, they fell into the trap. There used to be a time where people lived, they grew their own food, they harvested their own water. Everybody knew how to survive. People treated people like people. There wasn't this hive mentality. You didn't care what people thought. 
You didn't have to be like, okay, I need you to I greet me a more, certain way because I'm older than you. The no, it was a mutual respect. The more developed it, it becomes, mm -hmm. the more... Uh, the less, less human it becomes. Yes. The more developed it becomes, the less natural it is. Just yeah. like with with um, processing of material. Yeah. You could take uh, iron ore out of the ground and you could process it to the point where you could not even recognize it was iron ore. Mm. Like, um, what is that? Uh, what is that uh, material? No, no. It's too much. <laughs> but you, you know? You know where plastic comes from, Catherine? Yeah. You know what material? When you look at it, it looks natural. Yeah. The the first part of plastic, it looks natural. It, then it's processed. And factories are a representation of society because society is one big factory. A factory's goal is to take a material, transform it into a product. And that's what society, to produce a certain result. Society is designed to produce a certain result, a certain function. Everything and everyone has a function, but in nature, Everything is as it is, and you don't question it. You don't put a label on it. But we've been tricked into joining a system that isn't even good for people. Mm. And if you do anything different, you're crazy. What you mean you want to live in Africa? What you mean you want to go live in the woods, as we're intended to what do? What do you mean you want to go to the village? <laughs> what you mean? I tell people all the time, I like the village. Oh, why do you want to be in the village? You're going to miss out on the city. What do I need in the city? I never liked the city. I'm doing what I'm doing in the city because I said I would do it. And because hopefully more brothers and sisters will free their mind. Yeah. Because people are truly trapped in a system. You need this to be happy. You need that to be happy. You need this to... Why? How are you going to tell me what I need to be happy and I believe it? Man, you got to beat me down mentally for me to believe it. The elders feel a type of way because he's set on his dream that Mark fulfilled keep pushing forward the mark which is through christ no pun intended ah thank you eva adam eva adam bike king i have sent you information on your instagram my business card and fan in my family yeah okay i think i remember you bike king are you guys hosting guests from america i think so yeah mm. we do Catherine especially yeah. don Moore. maybe we can uh okay. you reach out to her on her channel or what is your uh, Instagram? My Instagram, Miss Kate. Like you can just go on my channel and there you can see the link. Is it possible to get a 20 minute conversation with you? I'll love to have your viewpoint on a perspective I'm looking at with a project I'm working. Who is that? Andre, Andre. Yeah, I don't see why not. Um, you gotta reach out to me in a way I'm gonna see it though. Sometimes I don't see it. Look at all these tables, Catherine. We got one. One more to paint, that's it. Is it dry already? No, I can see the gloss. <laughs> but the paint is shiny, so. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Andre, uh, reach out. I'd say reach out on Instagram is probably the quickest way. And then I'll give you my WhatsApp. Yeah. If you have any questions about building, I am building contract. I'm a building contractor for the last 35 years. Okay, Bike King, well message me on Instagram. Shining Star, I'm working on a network of businesses too. I would like to work with you on this. When I get the time, I'll email you about it. Okay, or message me on Instagram for a quicker reply. I'm a little behind on emails, but thank you for reaching out, Shining Star. It's all about collaboration and not co op. I mean, cooperation and collaboration rather than competition. The three C's. Cambrella Viele says, Mark, when did you discover your passion for contributing to development, the development of Africa and African diaspora? To be honest with you, if I'm being very honest with y'all, I didn't think much about Africa before coming here. From the time of me being interested in the diaspora to me being in Africa was probably like a week before I came to Africa. Hmm. So about three weeks from when I came. Can you tell them how you moved? Like, was it like a plan? No, I was sitting in my room one day and I was just, I, I had to come back from, what was I doing that day? Doesn't really matter. Yeah. And something told me, go to Africa. And it was so strange because I, I wanted to travel. I didn't want to go to Africa first. Mm -hmm. The first place on my list was India, a few places in Southeast Asia, and pretty much everywhere else, like North, uh, South America. Mm -hmm. And Africa was there, but it was like for years later. 
And this list I made when I was like 12. And something said, go to Africa. And I said, what? Go to Africa? And I said, okay. I didn't question it too much because the same voice has always guided me well. Mm -hmm. And so I said, all right. And, you know, I packed everything up, sold most of it. No, I, I couldn't sell most of it in the amount of time that the urgency was there. So I gave it away. I gave a lot of my stuff away. There was an old man I lived next to, old Mexican man. Mm. So I gave most of my stuff. And then I came here. You came like to like for a few, 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 few months or a few weeks? No, I came. The I thought I was, was going like, to visit. Yes. But part of me, and this is the weird thing, part of me knew I wasn't just visiting. So I stayed <laughs> three years later. I'm still here. I think I left probably once. Once yeah, or twice, once. Be once. besides traveling to other countries, maybe. Only once. But never like left, left. But to answer the question, when did I discover my passion for contributing to the develop? I always wanted to do something for like um, people. I knew that my passion would be outside of America. Not to say I didn't want to live in America, because I had a plan for living in America too. But I knew that I wanted to be outside of America. I didn't think I'd like it this much though. And the thing is, I still don't dislike America. I never had issues there, not really. It stands on principles that aren't always good, but there's a lot of good there too. If you can get past the hurt and hate of our people, you could see the beauty in the place. Just like you could see the ugliness in this place, but it's not enough to deter me. Pike King says, Mark, you are on the right track. Y'all got questions for Catherine? Catherine over here recording on her. Catherine is the person who doesn't like to answer questions. Bike King says, if I had a daughter, I would want her to marry you and be with a man like you. I could risk it then. Yeah, okay. I might get me a, uh, 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 well, let me leave it. God is your strength. God is your refuge. Yeah, and he lives in you, so he's always there, which means your strength should always be there and your refuge should always be there. You should be at home with yourself. Yeah. But a lot of people are afraid to be with themselves. Why? Because they're filled with other things. There's no God in them. Somebody sent me a hundred dollars. Let me look at where that is. What? What? Somebody said. Ooh, somebody said, I would not say the world is the devil. Most people are the devil. But yeah. pe people make the mm. world. The earth is the earth. It's always here. Mm. Everything in the earth is here. I think I the world is made by people. Because my world is different from your world. Her world is different from their world. So our world is made up of people. But you're right, people are the devil. Or people are used by the devil. No, people are the devil. God is bigger than any problem you may have. Yeah. You have, di you have difficult to believe a boy and a girl can be close friends and navigate the world positive. Catherine had a difficulty with that too. Why? I don't know. Well, no. You were saying in the society, it's it's really hard to believe that that a boy and a girl can be friends. No, they can. You you didn't they say can. for here it was difficult for people to think that. You were saying because men always want something. Is that a topic you don't want to discuss? No, uh, uh, I do think like Ooh. in the perfect world, as you say, yeah. always. But this world is not perfect. No, in the perfect so it's very world. Hard. Well, healthy girl T. I am a merge investor and want to know how I can assist from afar. Okay. Do you have my WhatsApp healthy girl T? And thank you for the hundred dollars. That's going to be a few tables. <laughs> hey. Yeah, for real. Yeah. But yeah. Um, there's things you can do to assist from afar. What can she do? What? Catherine. What? 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 What did I say? What you did want you hear? Me to tell them what you said. No. <laughs> hey, this music. Every day. Every day. Somebody says, "What do y'all do for fun, Catherine?" What do I do for fun? Yeah. I like I like traveling. That's it. When because that's what I find it like more. Uh, that's how, like. If I travel, I enjoy so much than other things. Really? Travel? When I, I agree. go around, I explore, you know. Oh, sometimes even around we have been, here. Well, sometimes we have been traveling, like around, 
Yeah. And you see how I was getting excited. When 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 you say traveling, I thought of outside because when I think of traveling, I think of going to other countries. No, traveling even yeah. going to any place exploring. like exploring. Exploring. Huh? Let's say exploring. I agree. I'm with Catherine. For fun, we go and we've done this so many times before. We'll just go and we'll pick an area we've never been to and we'll just yeah. go there and see it just because. Yeah. And it's fun. Even if nothing happens or if we the day lost. doesn't Yeah, we get lost a lot. <laughs> we'll be we'll be man, we've been in the middle of nowhere. nowhere. We've been on farms and villages where there's no people, and where there's like, too many people. You'll be like, This this is this seems like there was the road here. Yeah, I'll say I thought there was a road here. And next thing we know we're in a ditch somewhere. <laughs> yeah, guys, so for fun that I think is that, like exploring yeah. and, and seeing different things. I'd say also this, even though yeah. this is work, it's it's also fun. You have to, to I can't do something, something I don't like. Yeah, like that one. I like it this. It was fun. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a carpenter. I'm a painter. And not officially. He's everything. Everyone is everything. He's you just have to, my granny used to tell me, we all have all the seeds in us. Yeah. Whichever seed you nourish is the one that grows. But I never thought like you can be like a carpenter. Yeah, Catherine didn't know I could cut wood and paint and make things out of it. But I don't look like looks can be deceiving. I say one of God's most interesting traits is that looks his most interesting lesson for many people is looks can be deceiving. Yeah, I don't know why people don't they cannot like learn. Because we're taught to judge, not learn. Yeah. Anything that goes against what we think. I see this person, he looks like someone who's like this or someone who's like that. So we don't think beyond that. We say, you know what? I don't think there's any way that could be possible for this person to do something outside of what I think I know about not these ev people. They say not everyone who is wearing a, a white a white coat is a doctor. Yeah, not everyone wear. I like that. Some people are butcher me. <laughs> mm -hmm. You said so, something earlier, and I I know this is off topic, but Catherine said something in the car. She said you don't have to teach a cat to drink milk, right? Yeah. Or was it something different? Am I saying it correctly? You are saying it, but the topic was like... People are the way they are. The, yes, like you don't give excuse to people. Like, oh, maybe this person is acting in this type of a way because they don't know. Yeah, some cats don't drink milk because they feel sick though. Yeah, so, so people some people know are what a they certain do. way because they feel sick. People know what they do. Yeah, but most of you're right. Except the children, they don't know. Children know, some of them. But they not, know. Not young they know. children. You see, the child yeah. can be like can 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 take his his hand on the on the fire. Yeah. And you then know, dang yeah, well they don't know. Burn. They don't know. Children don't know. But know. older but ones. Older do. ones know. But these adults, they definitely know. They Stop they making know. excuses for them. Yeah. Bike King, I thought the same thing. I have an 18-year-old daughter. I would love to hook up with someone like Mark in the future. Stop it, y'all. Y'all see, I got a big head already. <laughs> Y'all trying to make it so I don't fit through doors. <laughs> and I cannot carry this this head. I'm gonna be breaking my neck trying to hold my own head up. Preach, Mark. I will be visiting Africa one day. Yeah, Sharon Goody. That woman's name was Sharon. Ooh. Or Shannon. Sharon, Sharon, the one who didn't give me my $700 back. <laughs> I helped this woman get back to the UK and she didn't give me my money back. <laughs> I thought I was being nice and helping her out out of a tough situation. And this person's gonna obligate you not to pay them. Do you call them? No, I, I called so many, and, they, they and then I find out she did it to another person. A few other people. You can't just help some people. You are a gift. Wisdom is from God and you have that. Thank you, Shining Star. Thank you, Shining Star. What's so cool about the choice of table color? Princess, princess. Ah, it's princess. Princess, we see your comments. We're very curious about you. Because <laughs> you make some know. profound comments. Yeah. Some of them are interesting, but others are like very profound. You know, she made uh, a she one comment he. and then I was like, let me pick a call and call Mark. Like, <laughs> damn, I saw this comment. Princess, can you tell us where you're from? Princess, princess. <laughs> Speaking straight truth. I'm lonely. It's lonely at the top, Mark. Yeah, that's why heaven, heaven ain't so full. Yeah. It's right at the top. <laughs> For real. But there's heaven on earth too. And even that one's pretty empty. Because mm. a lot of people refuse to leave the system that they find normal. And a lot of them know there's something wrong with the system. 
Like Catherine. No, 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 no. Remember we were talking about the children. I yeah. said, I would never let my children be a part of the system. And you said, but the people are going to say this. I, I said, but you're not supposed to do what's normal. You know what I said? You're supposed to do what's right. I said, let me, let me, let me say this. I said, like, I will, my, for my children, I will at least expose them to, like, to the, to different kind of life so that they can know, you know, but you have to tell them this is bad, this is good, you know, so they know. You know, sometimes you yeah. can run into a thing that you don't know and you can feel comfortable with it because you just, yeah. nobody told you. But Catherine, so it's, when, it's when better you when them... end, end another thing is yeah. when you expose them to a different kind, a like different world, mm. like a different environment and it's bad when they know they cannot be excited like food. Yeah. They can be, they cannot be excited with it. I agree. I got a very extreme approach though. Because in my mind, you need to be the only one influencing your children. This is what I was saying. And I know you're thinking the same thing, but I'm just saying for yeah. them. Every time your child scrolls through YouTube shorts, think about it. They scroll through 80, 90, 100 videos. That's 100 different people influencing them in some way. That's what And you think influencing them. Yeah, the best way to ruin your children is get them around other people. Yeah. Oh, but why would you, why would you um, keep them from people? And why would you? Well, because... We, you just you assume that not everyone's good and I know a lot of people do it's not to say trust that or don't trust everybody but it is to say that you have to realize what influence is every time they take the bus they're being influenced by someone by something they see because you can be influenced by what you see too every time they go to school somebody's teaching them a message that you didn't approve and then when they come home talking about mommy daddy what is this you say wait a second I didn't tell you that but they've already been taught it's good and you told them the system they're in is good because you put pressure on them to do good in that system. So subconsciously, they assume that that system must be the right way. So we're kind of self-inflicting our own destruction here. Yeah. If you really wait, wait. If you really want to be on the narrow path, don't be lazy with that. Separate yourselves because remember, the righteous are set apart. His children are set apart. It's not easy to be righteous. It's not going to be convenient to be righteous. It means I'm going to grow my own food because I have a standard that is not of this world. I'm going to educate my own children because I have a standard that is not of this world. I'm going to teach my neighbors through my actions because I have a standard that is not of this world. When someone does me wrong, I'm going to get upset in this way because I have a standard that is not of this world. When somebody you know, lies and cheats and steals, I don't excuse it. I have to explain it this way because I have a standard that's not of this world. Have a standard that is not of this world. Don't go thinking, well, I'm going to look like, because I do this a lot, and Catherine will get embarrassed with me. I'm going to tell her, is I will get very upset, not to the point where I'm fighting anybody, but I'll definitely have a very heated argument with people over principle because we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but principalities, principle. Principle is the key word in that statement. We're not against people. We're against the idea behind people. Overcharging is not, I don't give a SHIT about the money. I give an idea or I give a, a, a care about the principle behind it. We're fighting principle. But let me say like things like, let's say, let's say things like pizza, you know? Yeah. Let me let me give example to pizza. You know, I like to give example on food. She loves You to. know. It's always like, something with food. Yes, like, you know, pizza for you is like normal food, you know? Yeah. So, let's say you have, like, you have a kid and they are not exposed to pizza. They mm -hmm. don't know pizza or whatever, you know? So, and they see their neighbor mm -hmm. or maybe somebody is eating pizza. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, le yeah. So, so, when you they get to uh, like to try pizza for the first time you know some people will be taking pictures so i don't want them to be kind those kind of children you know they get into a plane they think like this is normal this is normal life instead of like no starting taking you pictures. teach them what hey, if hey. i when i'm blessed with my you children know? and we talked about it talking. you're right i know what you're saying I don't want them to be so much excited over like normal, normal things, things and feel like oh I feel so bad because I didn't have yeah you teach them if you you read the Bible I know you do a lot of people and I keep saying the book we all say we read but we don't because that book tells you you're not supposed to even your children they're not supposed to feel bad because they don't live like the people yeah. in the world but society teaches you to feel bad if you're not eating pizza like everyone else yeah. or if you have to uh, not go do those things with those activities with those people that you don't know mm. or that you know but aren't very good 
yeah. society teaches you to feel bad like you're missing out when really the I, i'm saying it again the righteous path is a lonely path it's a narrow path yeah. they say if you really want a relationship with god not a religion you shouldn't be christian and muslim or any of that you're supposed yeah. to have a relationship with god mm. that relationship means that you spend quality time you develop a relationship by spending time with that person god is no different if you want a good relationship with god go spend time with god if i have a child and i want to develop a good relationship with them i have to spend time with them i can't say theoretically we have a good relationship because you're my child no in practice we don't theoretically doesn't work in things of of this world mm. what's up little man Eh eh, subiri. Subiri meza kauka. Sawa? <laughs> it's not that wet. Eh unaka. I should show him licking this paint. He's licking it to see if it's dry. You're a little jokester. Yeah, huh? man. Come so here. some you other things are yeah, normal. Yeah, you know. Like in kuwa manga ni kuwa. Awe wa kuwa karangi kuwa manga ni kuwa ni auke. Sawa? Sawa. <laughs> They're making fun of how I speak. <laughs> when yeah, he argues, it's, it's like, yeah, I tell, yeah, I tell him, Because that in my mind, there's, I told you why I do it. I'll be telling the person, like, because they'll try to explain why they're doing something, which you, you and them know they're wrong. You, you, you both know they're wrong. And I got to sit here and listen to you tell me something that we both know is wrong <laughs> lie to me in my face so i tell him just shut up nyamaza. i tell him nyamaza it means shut up nyamaza, sour. and i tell yeah nyamaza sour okay shut up okay because i hear what you're saying they are it, negotiating on arguing yeah sour. <laughs> <laughs> Na umelala na pumzika sana. Uliza usiku saa. He wants to download another game on the phone. So I told him. I was him, waiting for him to talk so he can say, Yamaza! Yamaza, sawa. I'm not sure you say any, sawa. Somebody, Josh Lambert says, Damn, Mark, every time I listen to you talk, you amaze me, bro. You're very advanced for your age. Honestly, bro. Thank you. Tell him the truth, guys. <laughs> Bike King says, in the state of California, smoking laws have changed and you can't sell certain items. Yeah. Oh, look. Okay, that's the one Another that I already gave. Ish. Yeah, you somebody gave $10, I think. Let me go see where that one is. And all you're getting understanding. Sorry to talk, guys. Let me read some of these comments. Don Moore says, I say this all the time and people look at you like you are weird. Yeah, they do. Like I'm seen as strange. I you grew what? up and people people would look at me as I was strange because I, I didn't want to watch TV. I didn't like playing video games so much. I, I like to walk, which was a little weird looking back on it. I still do it. But I'll walk around and I have to dial it back because sometimes this boy, he just, he needs to be entertained. He wants to play on the phone. He wants a game. He wants to do something. And I'm thinking to myself, dang, when I was a kid, I could sit in a room and think and I wasn't feeling bad about it either. It's not because I was angry or sad. It was just because I wanted to. I didn't like the sound of the TV and the music. I just started listening to music at 19 years old. Music with words in it. So for me, it's, it's, it's weird be, seeing this. This. Is, this is going to be the father who will be telling their children, like, you know, I was getting best grades. <laughs> yeah, I'll be telling my kids. We want well, no. to see your examination paper. <laughs> my children won't go to school. I already told you what I think about that system. I'm going to put, think about school, guys. And I'm sorry to ramble on, but okay. school is, I'm, it's not to say you're lazy. Because not everyone who puts their ch children in school is lazy. Yeah. But really, it is like. A slightly more lazy approach. You know how to write. You know but how to. But how? Write. What are you gonna do for the future? Catherine, the future. I know school is not the key to success or to better future. But what are you going to prepare? How are you going to prepare them for the be for their best future? You teach them. You're the parent. You're the guide. You're the mentor. You don't go give them to somebody else for them to learn whatever the heck else they want to teach. Think about it like this. In a perfect world, school works. But in the world we live in, they can teach them anything. But Why would I want my children to go to a place where I know they're going to be indoctrinated, where they're learning things that I have no idea about, 
and it's pushed on them at a young age so they can eventually turn against me. If I say this, you know how many people in America, Catherine, mm. will have an issue. Religious families, mm. yeah, and this is beyond the spiritual argument. Let's just go with good old fashioned religious families. Mm. Christian values, all that good stuff. And their kids go to school and they're being taught that there's no such thing as a woman. And, and I'm not saying I'm for or against yeah. it. Everyone do their own thing. This is just for the sake of argument. Mm. And then they come back and the parents have a different set of values than what the school teaches. And I'm telling you, Catherine, from a child's perspective, they are taught that school knows better. Because why would you send them to a place if you knew how to teach them? Yeah. So children subconsciously develop an idea that the parent can't teach me. The school has to teach me. The teacher knows better. And what you're saying isn't true. So when you tell them, no, this is the right way, and then you send them to that same school the next day to learn, what you just said was an oxymoron. Children are good at but detecting think, ox... I children are good at detecting... Well Dang, we almost fell backwards. <laughs> I think as well, like this society nowadays is making it like it's so much crucial for you to own like a certificate with which you don't do nothing with it at the end of the time. There are a lot of people who have like degrees and yeah. their certificates are like meaningless and it's becoming more mean. Avery yeah. Beckton says, send me, sent me $10. Thank you for sending this money. Wow, this is nice. And somebody else sent something. Somebody just sent it. There it is. Iodele R. Forgive me if I got... I know the picture, though. Let me send Thank you. you for the 10 euros. Let me send you one. Catherine says she's going to send me something right now. Thank you, Catherine. Can, can we confirm the payment in front of the camera? <laughs> okay, guys. I'm going to get through some of these comments. MN says, it's true I have been awakened, but I am still stuck in a place where those principalities rule. Trying to find a way out and not get more shackled in the struggle for freedom is daunting. If I'm being honest with you, MN, I feel like the way out is as simple as it seems. Mm. Drop, and this sounds extreme. I'm so serious. If the world came together, no, if the people of the earth mm. came together and dropped the whole, I need to live in the city, I need to support the system because when we work, we support the system. When we buy groceries, we support the system. When we drive on roads, we support the system. Yeah. When we travel and use our passports, we support the system. The system is not American. It's not African. It's the world system. Some people call it globalization. Some people call it westernization. It's the world system. Mm. And that new world order, that world government, that system is already in place. It's already established because everything you need to do is through them. If you want to travel, which humans have the natural right to travel, nobody owns the land on the earth. This land is not divided up. There's no natural, I mean, there's natural borders, but there's no, the borders we've drawn don't really exist. The money we use doesn't really exist. The system has taken something from us and given it back to us at a premium, at a price. And we're all in a rat race. They're looking down on us. We're like in this box playing some game they've created for us and we're sitting here stressed again demons feed on stress we're sitting here angry demons feed on anger we're sitting here sad demons feed on sadness we're sitting here frustrated with life unfulfilled unhappy thinking that we're doing something what are you doing when you say well what is what about their future in a perfect world the future is not what can I contribute to the society that's taking so much from me? That's unhealthy. That's unnatural. To develop, to develop themselves, you can develop yourself from yourself. No. It's self-development for a reason. It comes from you. I mean, Your peace should come from you. Your joy should come from you. Because God lives in you and he is all of those things. And this is just to make the argument for the religious folks because it's a good argument. God, let's let's replace the word with God. Let's replace the word God then with the universe, I think you with have self, to work some hard. of these things. You have to work hard yeah. to move, to, 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 to educate them that, you walk know, they don't, the yes, walk away, walk from, the away from the system. Walk away from the system. So they can be like... Go live, I'm, I'm telling you, and I'm not saying this because I don't know if this is illegal yeah. or not, which is funny to say that going and living on your own is actually illegal. No. Burn your passport, burn your ID, don't tell anyone you're leaving, Man. go. Disappear into the bush, live your life, 
You never have to pay another bill. You never have, oh, but I need this. No, make it yourself or learn to live without it. That's freedom. You want to escape the system? There but you I go. But I think Corona told us a lesson, a very big lesson. Corona is teaching something right now. It's teaching people that when you go and do what they say, it's going to get worse because yeah. now there's no one saying stop. Mm. So they step over the next boundary and the next one and the next one and the next one. And before you know it, you're in shackles. Mm. Like in China, they have the facial recognition at pay. You pay with your face. You have this currency system that is based on social credit. That's weird. Mm. And that's that's what we all want. Everybody says it's wrong, it's evil, but nobody leaves. Don't you think that's weird? And you know what it is? We've built the prison and we stayed in it because it's something we built. We put time and effort into that system. And because of that, psychologically, because we put work into it, we don't want to leave. Nobody, like nobody will, like tell, let me tell you something right now. Like if you tell like people, like go back and live in the past, how many people would be ready to do that? Live in the past? No. Catherine said, Catherine, you remember our topic? Mm -hmm. I'm glad you brought that up. I asked Catherine, would you rather go in the future or in the past? I told her my answer was the past. She said, Even me, I said uh, no, I after said the past. I told her, because I said in the past, you didn't have pe in the past. Nobody cares. People weren't doing each other. Of course, there's always been people doing each other wrong, but it wasn't a common thing. It was like that person did this to them and that people were genuinely outraged. But uh, yeah. now but, you have okay. no in the past, people didn't care. You didn't have to use a passport to go from one place. I would love to live in the past. If I could choose future or past, I would love to go back to the a time is where worse. people didn't act like this, where people didn't behave like they there was something like nobody knows anybody. Instead of that's a person, I'm a person, let's go be people together. It's you're this type of person. Wait, wait, type of person? What is yeah. that? You've I think now that the world has become like the world in the become, classes, like yeah. you are rich, I am poor. You are black, uh, I am black. white. And people can you're Tanzanian, people are not, I'm Kenyan. Yes, people are not comfortable, you know. Good to see you, Mark. You are living my dream. You could take the dream. I'm serious when I say my dream, if I'm being honest with y'all, and I'm doing what I'm doing, which is kind of an oxymoron, but let's get it, let's say it like, um, okay. I want to go somewhere peaceful. At the end of my life, I want to be somewhere peaceful. Even pretty soon, when I'm finished up here, I want to go somewhere, disappear. I disappear, because that's not what I want to do. But you know, just go back. I don't need to be out there. I don't need to be in the city. I don't need to be around but, where everything is. I want to be in a peaceful even the, place. What do you think about when like the people from the villages the want to go to the city? They don't know. That's how the system gets you. The matrix pulls you in by enticing you with what you don't have and teaching you that you need it. But the people in the village can be smart and say, I've lived 20, 30, 40 years without it. Why do I need it now? Yeah, you 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 take a person who is like 100 years old in the village, the village person who is 100 years old and the city person who is 100 years old, they are totally different. Very, very different. Catherine. The way they think, even their physical appearance. They are. Somebody says, I would like to also, I would also like to host you on my channel. So also experience Africans. Yeah, message me. I want to do a collaboration. Yeah. I'm trying to get out there more, I guess, even though I just said I don't need to be out there. But I do want to preach a message of let's all free ourselves from the system. Once I've done my part, I'm leaving. I'm leaving the matrix, y'all. I'm in the matrix by choice. I told Catherine, there's nothing stopping me from burning my passport and going out in the middle of nowhere and being there. American passport. Think about that because I don't believe in borders and things. I don't. I don't believe it's natural and there's no law. Remember, there's man's law and there's God's law. And God's law doesn't tell you that you're restricted from traveling because the government said so. When the government in the Bible is corrupt. So people read it, they know it, but then they still choose the government's word over God's. Doesn't that sound strange? Because it says, like, God says that. Uh, God says all governments are your corrupt. Leaders. Who are the leaders? The government. No, they wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> they wrote it and gave it to you and said, well, God said it. Look, it says it right here. Oh, well, okay, yeah. Yes, master. If, if, if you say so. But if you read the book, if you really read it, it tells you the opposite as well. The government is the devil. The government is the devil. The government is a system created by the devil because in a good world, governance comes from within. Yeah. You don't need someone to tell you how to live and give you your water and food. 
you know, they call it like a feeding system, mm. just like YouTube. Now the feeding has become spiritual. Feed. They call it a feed, YouTube feed, like animal feed. They're feeding you information over and over and over and over and over and over. The government is feeding you resources, 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 water, uh, food, all of and it's been And it's so tainted. much addictive. It's very, very addictive. It's convenient. Convenience is addictive. When you can just turn on the water and get your and get your I mean turn on the tap and get your water, convenience is addictive. That's a video topic, y'all. Convenience is addictive. That's what they did. They enticed us in and they trapped us like this. Because they gave us convenience. Who said it? Holy Baba, no my magic you know. Looking all looking like a professional painter. It's a fully kupaka around you. Technology, yeah, experience Africans. Reach out to me on Instagram. Maybe we can do something. I would love to be on your channel. Hey, Catherine, pretty baby. Hey. I can't wait to come there. I'm building a small house in on Friday in the village near Kenya and Tanzania border. Great place to be. Because it's peaceful out there. I know what you're talking about, or where you're talking about. The dry lands, I think, you know, where the Messiah are. It is very dry, though. Beautiful nonetheless, Catherine. Look, one, one, one. There's a hundred and eleven people here. Ninety-four likes. Thank y'all. Wow. Yeah. Eh, dola mia na. I'm seeing na moju. What is dola? Dola is. Ah, yes, I'm now where we could back around because I'm about to see how do you say when it dries? Kukauka. Eh, kukauka mara kukauka. Kikikauka. Kikikauka when you're trying to forget it. Yeah, it's gonna look bad. Mine don't look so good, but they're outside. <laughs> MN says, see, that's what I am missing. One, the ability to immediately submit to the spirit. The spirit should be a very, very very normal part of who you are it should be like breathing air or drinking water but we've been taught not to listen to the spirit most people don't even know what spirit sounds like and it's not sound like with your ears it's what does it sound like as in what does it feel like because they have this veil that's been put over their eyes and ears they don't see it they have to be out there with everything and everyone feeding the system the system is you when you work when you do all this stuff, you're selling your soul. That's People don't realize how easy it is to sell your soul. You're sacrificing who and what you are for something to get to where you need to be. When in a perfect world, you're already there. I can tell by the way Mark talks. He's young, but he's somewhat on the right path of understanding things. Read more and experience more and you'll see it's not as simple or as black and white as you may think. Okay, I'll take it. It's always a learning process. MN says two, knowledge on how to make money anywhere. Shoot, having loads of trouble making money here in the US. If you're trying to buy your freedom, you do need to make money and you do have to buy your freedom. That's where we are. It used to be you can get up and go and establish yourself anywhere, even when there was a government system in place. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> like you gonna cut the table in half. Yeah, I 
ni mimi angalie wewe ni kata kidogo sana labda mtoto anacheza kwa meza hatari sana eh babu kaa vizuri sawa eh kaa vizuri kaa I said it right. <laughs> Sometimes I gotta check the language and see if I said it right. Loads of trouble. And three, courage. Yeah, we need courage. It takes courage to jump. But remember, faith is not, I think I'll be okay. Faith is, I know I'll be fine. Remember, the reason people lie and cheat and steal is because they don't have faith. They don't know that they're okay if they don't do it. Faith is, I can jump, I can walk around the mountain, go up the mountain, and then jump without hesitation. That's faith. Faith is God's got my back. And I know he's got my back. Why? Because I believe he does. It's not even so I get faith is not I think. Faith is driving the car with your eyes closed. No. <laughs> faith is following uh -huh. the road. Uh -uh. <laughs> faith here's here's faith like, to me. Walking faith is, with no fear. Yeah. Walking with no fear. Yeah, driving with your eyes closed. Yes. Yeah, then that's but, <laughs> No, no, no. This is example. Like, okay. like doing something scary yeah. or dangerous or maybe that you you don't know the result what's are gonna be the result but you go by 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 faith like with the, with no fear that's what i mean you know i'm messing with you what yeah you know i'm messing with Why? you Why? Catherine makes good analogies but she's right faith is definitely it's doing something that you're afraid of Fear is, they say what? Don't walk in fear. That's what the Bible tells you. You're not supposed to walk in That's fear. That's why. You can be afraid, but don't walk. And in the Bible, but, walking in something means taking action because of. But don't why? take action because of fear. But why a lot of people have fear nowadays? Yeah. Like, there is no faith. Like, people have no faith. Even, no. even if they say, I have faith in this. They ain't got faith. Because faith says that I know what I need to do and I'm going to go do it. And, and I may to. not know why. Or oh, how it's going to work out. But I know yes. it'll work out. You know, there was something that told me, Mark. Well, I don't want to say it. No. I, it's like, it's a voice. And it's not a voice like, I'm not a crazy person. But there's something and it's always been with me. Yeah. And it'll say, literally, it can say something like, turn left, go right, go do this. I think go it's that. a spirit. The same thing told me, go to Africa. And from here, I've been doing this. Just spirit. There's times where I will literally spend every dollar in my bank account. In the next hour it'll replenish and i'm like whoa and it's happened enough times for me to say i don't doubt it yes 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 but mark we know that we feel that and now let's speak about what we want to construct we can what can we bring on the table that we combine let's uh, there it is neglect all the devious stuff that was from elevated minds a lot i don't know to be honest with you, I think salvation is a personal path. I do believe it is. Because the narrow path is a lonely one, and I believe it's only wide enough for one person to pass. To me, it's like you have this highway. They, they have a song. It's, it's something, something, something. I'm on the highway to hell. And I believe the highway to hell is doing what everyone else is doing. It's taking the common path. The narrow path is like a very small opening in the woods. Mm -hmm. And along the way, you're going to see one or two travelers, but you're not going to have a lot of people that you meet. Because again, you have to be alone. Because when you're alone, you're not actually alone. You're with God. And he wants to have that relate. The more time you spend with God, AKA alone, the more you're going to hear him. And I'm realizing maybe I am the way I am because I spent a lot of my life alone, a lot of my life. I spent it alone, meditating, thinking, and I didn't know, I didn't know that's what I was doing until now. I spent a lot of time alone, and I thought and thought and thought, and eventually answers came. One acre of land near you is how much in the village? One, you can get acreage here for like $50 an acre if you go out far enough. What, 45 minutes outside of the city? It's about 50 bucks an acre or maybe an hour away. Good morning, Mr. Mark and Cat. Morning. Cory Booker. Bike King says, if I had a daughter, I would want her to marry you and be... Okay, is this... Are we at the top of the uh, list again? This is another one. You're getting a lot of people. It's not the world, it's the people. But the people make the world, I'm sorry. They say people make the world go round. Ah, I think we are... Captain, you remember that saying? I remember. Damn. 
No, these are new. He no. Just, he just repeated it. He repeated it. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, guys, people make the world go round. To me, the saying just means that people fuel the system. I don't believe the world. I, earth and world are two different words to me. Mm. Again, God created the earth, and he told you that the devil rules the world. Those are two different things, because I don't live in the devil's system. Because I have peace in here. I'm telling you, I could burn a passport right now. American passport uh, and go live my life without ever having to look at the camera again. Petrol. Mm, we Ipo. don't have petrol. What is petrol? We ran out. We yesterday. need to burn it. Burn what? That's like Iberiti. Oh, she's That's trying to get me to burn. No, because Catherine, here's ah, the ah, thing. Ah, 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 ah. We need to burn now. Who you are not joking? No. So what we mean when I say more? Iberiti. Passport, yeah, me me. Now say my amnesia. How do you say to burn it? Kuchoma. Kuchoma. I'm a passport, yeah, I'm a Kuchoma. So let's take Iberiti to show me a passport. See you, Kuelli, bro. He doesn't want. He doesn't want to ban. Are you a Baba? Yes. Are you a Baba? 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 In the perfect world, we didn't need food. Yeah, in the perfect world, we don't need food. What? Because it would be all around. No, we do. Gather. <laughs> That's a basic need. But you're right. Labda baba. Uliza badai. Sasa mimi ongeo. Mimi si ofikiri a game ya wewe. Ona juu kwa nini? Sasa baba una game nyingi. Nyingi baba. Kweli. Tati ba. Nne. Eh, kweli. I am Baba. I can't even lose my life. Stop. 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 Yeah, people make the world go round. All I hear when I hear that is, and they put it in the music because demons are sadistic and they like to taunt us. Because remember, they like it when you when you see it and you choose not to accept it. And there was a song that was very popular and it was people make the world go round. And all it's telling you is you're fueling the system that's destroying you on an individual level and on a spiritual level and on a physical level. When we work and, and we operate in the system, everybody's got a role. I'm sorry, but you're destro we're destroying ourselves doing that. And the saddest part about it is we don't really have a choice, but we do. We don't because, no, we kind of do. So we've kind of been forced into the system. And we Our generation, it. and we accept it. We have to fight to get out of the system. There's going to come a time, I don't know when, but people are actually going to realize this, wake up and fight. Not fight the government, not, because no, there they're going to fight the system. Because there are ways that we can get out of it. But people are being so much comfortable, like, they have accepted it. I am not sure. When I'm Somali, Somali and Dobu, people have... He's gonna build a house out of the little wood. So he was asking, can he take the wood we've cut? I like how creative he's become when you take away the phone. What's wrong with taking the relationship further if you want to? Nothing. Spike King says, okay, he repeated it. Um, Avian Dylan, I think that's what that says. Shalom from West London. Greeting to Hor Torah. Shabbat. Love, peace, inspiring, inspiring. I can't speak today, y'all. Inspiring work, both of you, Mark and Catherine, moving to Kenya in May with the family. Watch TO Ministries. I've heard of that. And T3 and me. I definitely know who they are. T3 and me. Yeah. That's the one. You no, know, it wasn't them. He was. She was saying, watch them. Oh. Catherine, what's your view on Americans since you have met Mark? Is your American view the same as your original view? So before, how did you think of us? And now, how do you think uh, of us? I'm going to say them. Because I, 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 she know I'm a little bit different than the wait, average American. Wait, no, no. I have been around other Americans. Mm. Uh, I can say in the past, I didn't like... You know, in the past, I've never met any American person. Really? I was the first? No, you were the first. Like, oh, really? Yeah, I, 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 I do have like 
I do have like I don't know in the past I didn't have any 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 but I can say from the TV mm -hmm. maybe like watching videos and stuff mm -hmm. like I think uh, in the past I thought like they are like independent you. people uh -huh. yeah really independent like Oh, hey, I'm not sure. I thought I threw it yes, too hard. Yes, in the past I thought like uh, they are so much independent. Mm -hmm. um, ah, yeah, Baba. Like when they get like they start to be independent since like they are very young. Yeah. You know that's the perspective that I had in the past. Like when they get like some of them they move out of their home like out of their family houses. At 18. Like 18, 16. That's not normal with which, here. With which it 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 inspired me a lot. Like you know you you get to start to develop your life since young you're very young. Mm -hmm. You know. So that's what I was thinking. And um, another thing is they are hard workers. Like they wow. work so much hard. This is the positive word. Wait for the negative. Wow. Wait for the negative. Wait for the negative, y'all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they are so like like hard workers. They work so hard. You know, you don't get to push them to work. Mm. You know, they, they know that I have to work and stuff. I knew that in you know, with the videos and stuff, I thought like this was the place that it was so much racist. <laughs> America. It's so much racist, like the killings and stuff. And um, another thing is, I thought like this would be a nice place, mm -hmm. America. Like would be a nice place to go and, you know, live. Yeah. You know, like nice, health, uh, good, good education system, good healthy system. I don't know what you think. Good education system, good. Yeah, like you know, things are good. It's not like I never thought like there are bad places and good places, mm. but I didn't think like I didn't think like there might be. I'm not seeing that. I didn't think like there might be like very very ugly places and stuff. In America, mm -hmm. did I show you some of them? No, but the at the past, people? at the past before I started like seeing the videos and stuff. Mm. You know, from what I've heard from other people who went there and stuff. So this is what I, I was thinking, yeah. you know. But when I started like looking on the videos, then I came to realize, oh, there are homeless people. Yeah. Then I came to start asking myself many, many questions. Like why these people, they bring some stuff here, like some resources here to Africa, mm -hmm. saying that they want to help Africa. Well, they are own, they, there are their own people. Yes. million homeless. Yes, homeless people. It's so higher I'm now. Like, damn, like this is not, this is not like These normal. These aren't gifts. Yes. They're not gifts. It's yes. a strategy. So there is something behind, you know, this mm -hmm. help that we are getting. And uh, then I came to realize how expensive it was. You know, you go around, like you, 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 you see the prices for apartments. True. You know, and I came to know that in it's like getting fresh food is so much expensive as well. Yeah. Compared to like artificial food. Yeah. You know, there are times that you think like, damn, I want to go to although I've never been like inspired by America. I've been always been inspired like I want to go to Europe than America. You know, yeah. people are always thinking like, Oh Catherine, you want to, like America? No. Europe, why? Yeah. And Europe is closer, it's cheaper but, to go to too. But, but the thing is about America I was like, you know, this might be like a place to be. But when I came to realize that there is, hey, food is expensive and stuff, is no big access to, it's very like difficult access to like mm. fresh food and stuff. You know, they poison the food. They do it here too. They do, I but it's Catholic very rare. When you go society. to the village, you have Mark, you, here at least you have a chance to have your own farm. Yeah. Wait, 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 yeah. wait. Let me tell y'all for the ones trapped. I'm sorry to do this. For the ones of y'all trapped in America, you can buy land for cheap outside of the city. I was looking at some land in it America. Was, in America, it was like 
it, it, it's a bit out there because America is such a huge landmass. It's gigantic. Yeah. It's huge. You know, um, we say Africa's huge, but Africa is made up of 54 countries, which mm -hmm. aren't that big on their own. But America is gigantic. You can buy land in Alaska for like $900. Mm -hmm. It's not high quality land or where you would be like strategically placed. But if somebody wanted to just go live out in the middle of nowhere, they could buy land and it wouldn't cost them much. Most people don't know how to live out in the middle of nowhere. They don't know how to homestead. Yeah. They don't, America was built on homesteaders. I think all over. Homesteading. Like all over. Like when you go outside the city, it's always best. It's always cheap. Yeah, clean. It's always cheap, clean, peaceful. Fresh, peaceful. You don't have the stuff. craziness of the city. Yeah. I don't know what people have this infatuation with here. Because mm. I don't do, maybe it's me. I don't do clubs. I don't do parties. I don't like that stuff. So when I see it, I'm like, well, what am I missing by not having? Yeah. I've thought that way my whole life. I just don't like it. Yeah. And but I'm glad. when I came close to knowing a lot of African Americans, mm -hmm. you know, I came to realize first they are very different with white people. Very different. Although they come from the first the same place. But very different. Mm -hmm. Very much different. Even how they talk, they speak is very different. And I came to realize the accent is different. I thought like all Americans have the same accent. Yeah. But it's very different. And um, I came to realize that, um, like let's say example from Mark. Ooh, I'm in trouble, y'all. <laughs> Come get me. Like, um, they, they 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 speak loudly you know here in Some. tanzania you don't speak loudly like yeah. i don't know why but it feels like very very shame embarrassing to speak really? loudly like when you go to a place let's say like to a place they'll be like quiet yourself even at the airport when you go to at the airport it's very quiet it's like nothing is going on yeah yeah i One think day. it's but that's the british system of politeness because the British yeah. are very polite people. They they want to seem like, you know, the social norms and the... Because remember, Tanzania, the reason y'all have chai in the morning, they have morning tea here. When I came here, the first time I ever heard about morning tea. What's happening? Ish, matter. It means... Usani! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me grab it. <laughs> nomba, nomba, chai. Yeah, see. Ish. Why you? You can send Useni. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. How many percent? Five percent. Five. Four percent now. They... See, this is why I got this extension cord. They don't sell extension cords this long here. I had an electrician make it. Mm. If y'all can still see us, we're trying to get us some. You sure? This is not. We're coming. trying to. We're hold on, guys. We're getting the charger. Cause uh. Ooh, no. Hold on, Kevin. YouTube would be so upset if you both aren't separated. Ways to start working with someone else. You better realize what you have in front of you. I don't know what he means. Catherine, can you recommend some books? Okay. Some books. Yeah. Which books? Any books you like. I don't read books. Hey. <laughs> When you he brought the charger. To be honest, I don't think. At least you're not alive. <laughs> At you least you want to charge your phone. No. Do you have two chargers? No, my charger. Is... You might as well. Is it bad? No, but this is going to die. It's not going to die. Okay, but careful. This has a. Oh. I don't know if this has a shoulder. Yes. Yeah. So like this we got power y'all whoo one percent look at that whoo look at that who said what hold on you're back and uh -huh, power saving i'm back with another oh you nothing. can't Catherine. you can't stream with with like three percent it's hard no i think it's like having trouble finding Madia out if we're gonna like have enough Woo! Wow, Kevin, we went from 100 people to 24 people. Yeah. Thank y'all yeah, for those who stuck around. Yeah. I even commented on the live saying I'm here, y'all. 
Wow. Yeah, guys, we ran out of power, so we had to get this big old bunch of chargers. Yeah, I forgot how much uh, power live takes, and we've been on this live for like one hour and 44 minutes. Is there another one? No, I don't Is it in the kitchen? another one because I didn't see. Your water is on the rooftop or in the kitchen? I went to the rooftop and I didn't see. Is it in the kitchen? Check. If not, just take another one. We don't like wasting, but we got to drink water. Catherine, you got to tell them, you got to finish the point you were making. You, When you come back, maybe you can finish telling them about Americans. When you come back, you can finish telling them. Where were we, guys? I'm sorry. Let me look at these comments. Catherine's going to come back and finish telling y'all about Americans. Okay. LOL. Mark would never burn it. No, I wouldn't. In a practical sense, I wouldn't, but... I'm saying if I had to, it wouldn't be something that was difficult. I'm in the matrix by choice. I'm over here. Well, none of us are here by choice. But I'm, I'm, you know, I think some of us are trying to ride out the matrix and hope we get off just in time. And I'm one of them, so. We all got backup plans, though. I hope y'all got a backup plan to leave the matrix if you needed to in, in a hurry. Let's go be people together. Yeah, princess, princess. Mr. Mark, what about the girl you left in Kenya? Um, Kenya, Patrick Mugesani. Um, I don't think I've ever been with anybody in Kenya. Can you uh, specify that? What you mean? I'm tired, Joe. I've been up all day, but I'm happy. Thank you guys for being here. We got, oh, people are coming back. We got 53 people now. All right. Wooden house, very pleasant and educational as Yeshua was a carpenter. Really? Catherine, they say Jesus was a carpenter. What? They say Yeshua was a carpenter. Huh? Yeshua was a carpenter. Who is Yeshua? Oh, yeah. I think you are will so you are willing to understand how we can change it Ish. for the good because there are others working really hard on that right now join the people who are working on understanding god's law you said where you were Could I pass? Yeah. Okay. you don't have to move it yeah because it's underneath this when you sit captain careful because you can clip this cord because i don't want to pull it you see it's very See, you touch it a little and it goes like, it starts charging again, I don't know. Maybe it's got a short in it. I think that boy might have messed it up, pulling on it like he does. You'll we'll see later. What Maybe did you say about the finish? You gotta finish telling them what you, because they asked you the question about. Yeah, uh, so um, another thing that uh, now I came to notice about African Americans is, I think I said it already, like they speak their mind. Um, um another thing is they like to ask like i don't know like um the difference between them here like they'll be like you know sometimes mark you know someone is hungry and then you're asking like uh, do you want it like do you, do you want, want it yes like for well, someone is like like if you want to give me just give me you know you, you never ask a person like do you want it you just ask if they don't want they tell you like like come and eat this welcome or whatever and then when they want you know but in oh, the past yeah. in the past i didn't i didn't like i, I was like dang why this person is asking and me when someone asks me like do you want it it feels bad it feels bad bad and i say no even if i want i say no i, I didn't know no. that was offensive but 
I came to realize when you say no, they don't bother. They don't tell Not me like, oh, you Please come. Please take it. Oh, like no. Here. Okay, you good. I'm going to keep eating. Because, <laughs> Catherine, we don't see it deeply. We're like, okay, do you want... It's a practical question. Do yeah. you want it? If you want it, say yes. Because I was even told, if you're hungry, go eat. Yeah. If you want something, ask. But when you ask, like, it feels like... Oh. You think, like, why are they looking? Because think about it, Catherine. It's like here. If you look at someone on the street who's selling something, what do they do? They come up to you mm. because you don't have to say anything. You don't have to call vendors to you. Mm. If you look, they come. They come. They assume because you're looking, you want something. Mm. So when Americans come, they have the same logic. If you're looking at my food, you must want some. It can't hurt to ask. It's not like when you are eating. Like sometimes, you know, you can be like just ordering yeah, yeah oh yeah you can be ordering your food and because like, Catherine, nobody wants to buy want... something that they know you don't want yeah. they're not made of money because if a tanzanian did it with a tanzanian okay. they would ask them let's say because they don't want to waste their money let's say you bought that for somebody oh Catherine, i'm just gonna come back with some chips and then you don't want it eh. i call hey Catherine, you want some chips yeah i want some chips okay that's not that's okay yeah. let's say i'm coming to your place without yeah. telling you Ooh. and you'll be like why why are you here <laughs> why are you here you know yeah why are you here what did you come for why are you calling me you mean they're upset that you came yeah, it's like am i not allowed to come yeah you have to ask yeah you have to ask like yeah. i'm coming and stuff but I think this is a culture yeah, that's that America. we're used to, yes. That you can't but just you go cannot, see some people. Yes. Even with parents, you have to some people have it so you have to schedule a meeting with your parents. You don't just walk up into some and some people are okay with it, but I think a lot of people the culture is mm. is is that you don't do that. Mm. For me, I don't care. To be honest, it's nice seeing a friend. Sometimes I will be upset if somebody just randomly showed up, mm. but most of the times I'm pleasantly surprised. If yeah. somebody thought about me enough to come check on me mm. or to come spend time with me unannounced, mm. but most people don't see it that way. They think, why are you, why are you assuming I'm available? Yes, some something. Another thing is there's so much punctual as well. Like I remember one day we, we planned a meeting, and and. Ma <laughs> Dave, you moved. Like I was late and you left. Yeah. I remember. At I first, when I first came, I thought it meant the person just wasn't coming. Because in the States, five minutes. Oh, yeah, I'm gone. Yeah. I was, how long did I, was it 15 minutes? Yeah, it was a bit, a bit long. Like, it was bit like long. 20, 30 minutes. Yeah. And I, I'm thinking like, oh, maybe something happened. It wasn't because I felt bad or I was angry. I just didn't think you were coming. Yeah. Because in the States, if you wait for somebody for 10 or 15 minutes, it means they're not coming. They, or not, not 10 or, you <laughs> know, 30 why minutes can, go can, by. Why do I need to, oh, yeah, it happens. Maybe the Why phone do you need to be on time? Because, Catherine, if I say, Not Catherine, why you need oh. to be on time. Like, why? Why, why why am I going to come and then I don't tell you like I'm not coming like I don't tell you at all then I'm thinking like yeah maybe somebody think like oh maybe the phone the phone was lost and stuff yeah but that is that's what uh, I'm, uh, I came to realize about Africans Americans and stuff and uh, they love Eat crisp, crispy, crispy, crispy yeah. everything crisp. Banned. She's, she's making fun of my order. Banned. When I order chips or French fries, they cook them and they're not cooked. I'm sorry, Catherine. You won't tell me they're cooked. They be making them where you can. They're yellow. Number one, they're not even yellow. Yellow. They're like white yellow. Yeah. There, there's no brown on those chips. Not Man, only brown. No like some brown. of them, they are not even like. They're not crispy. Cooked. They're mushy. I don't like mushy. Then they pull them out the oil, they're covered and they're soaked, Catherine, like a sponge, they're soaked in oil. And then they'll strain them. And I'm looking like, are you going, when I first came here, I would say, are you going to finish cooking them? Maybe you take them out to let them rest. And then you put them back in. And then they serve them to me. I said, wait a second, you gotta cook them. Finish cooking the dang potatoes. Yes. And they'll be saying, no, you're gonna burn them. Well, how I like my uh, french fries, they call that burnt. But it's really Bad. just like, it's the consistency of a french fry that I'm used yeah, to. Yeah, even bread. Crispy. Here, people eat birds like white bread. White bread. Like if that. they have toast, they don't have toast. 
But they'll put jam no, on white bread. No, you can just put on the, pl the, on, no. the, on, the, on the pan. No, nobody does that. Nobody does that. I do that. I'll make toast and they'll be looking at me. Why are you burning the bread? Why do I'm you like brown burn? isn't burnt. But the smoke, you can test, you can test the smoke. Mm. Like this is the smoke. Sometimes I do overcook the bread. Sometimes yes. it will burn. The but problem is the smoke. Now we cannot understand. If this is crispy, then yes. I don't need it. Oh, you would hate American barbecues. Because it's just cooking with smoke. Yes. You'll be burning them black. You saw the the, 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 the one I ordered, like the, the, the deep fried chicken. Uh -huh. You remember? Uh -huh. I was like, man, this is the meaning of deep. Like you cannot deep. see the meat, like no meat. Uh -huh. You see only the bone. But I don't know. They Heather don't like it dark. I don't know. They like, like sugar, like sugar. Do Let I me. like sugar? Some of them, they like sugar. Yeah, because I don't. Y'all don't know. I got to get Catherine and tell her I'm not the average American. I'm right. I'm realizing that. I actually learned that when I came here. Because people would say, you don't want sugar in your tea? Yeah, what's so weird about I drink tea with, it's just water and tea. And sometimes honey, but most times that's it. Some of them, they don't eat. This is not only Americans. They don't eat in the, uh, in the morning. Mm -hmm. Like for breakfast. I don't like you breakfast. You know, they don't. They eat breads a lot. But there's Bread something here, is Catherine. Their, is their dish. There's something here. So if here. you are living with America, you're going to be eating breads every day. Bread. Bread. No. Well, okay, let me leave it. At. There's something here y'all do, and what? it bothers me. What? Okay, now when you call somebody, this is going on to the punctual and all those things. When you call somebody, mm. or when you get a call from somebody, I'll get a call from somebody, mm. and I won't answer it. Maybe I didn't see it, but yeah. when I come to the phone, it's like 17 missed calls. I did that once. With, you remember Kevin? Yeah. And he, had, I, I said, why Why did you call me? It was 17 missed calls in a row. I said, why did you call me 17 but, but, times? You saw somebody he said, I thought me. you were dead because you didn't answer the first time. I said, wait a second. Because I don't answer the phone. I'm dead. I must, I'm not busy. I'm not showering. I'm not traveling i'm not in the car i'm dead <laughs> so if i don't answer the phone and he was crying on the phone i'm like man are you good what's wrong why you called me 17 times <gasps> i thought maybe you were dead <laughs> maybe but you got just, into an accident that's just, that's just a child Mark. no Catherine. i've heard it with big people too they think like that. What is that about? Oh, let me you say, can have let, let me over say, some people like you know they can call you and then you don't, they you miss their call, yeah. and they be like, why didn't you pick my call? Yeah. They ask that question. It's like you always have to be available, <laughs> and that's not always right. In yeah. the states, it's offensive to assume I'm available. Yeah. Over here, it's offensive to not be available. Why didn't you pick my call? They, Both are wrong. That's what y'all got to know. Both are wrong. <laughs> okay. Somebody said that was a very good question. Her answer was what I thought it would be. Huh. That was Eddie Thorne. Do you believe the actual Bible was speaking of African, African in the Garden of Eve? They did not know they were naked. God asked, who told you you were naked? Angela Jackson, what do you think? Do you think the Bible was talking about Africans? In fact, let me scream. That. that was good. What do you think? Because they say like Africans were the first people. people. So it would make sense. It would make sense. Do you think the Bible was speaking about white people? In some parts. In some parts. Like which parts? The Garden of Eden? They were white. I think so. So the first people were black. Yeah. So the first people that we know historically and through, you know, the archaeology, mm -hmm. even in school they teach you the first people were black, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Here they don't teach you like that. They don't. 
Who did they say were the first people? <laughs> I don't know. They uh, don't teach that at all. So the Garden of Eden might have been white. A lot yeah, of people here like think that Yeah, it's like they saw like the first people were like Adam and Eve. But they show Adam and because they're going they based on what they show. They show them in a, in a, in a white, white vision. Yeah, yeah. So of course they so assume. So you think like it's white. Mm -hmm. And the movies and stuff. So but that doesn't like, make sense because you, at least for me, I never had the idea that, and it's not that I was, before I wasn't even pro-Africa and yeah. black rights. I wasn't that person. It was just common sense that I learned that the first people were black. That's something even school taught me. So in my mind, if the Bible tells you the first people created were Adam and Eve, but I you would assume they were black. What I can say is no uh, uh, gonna a make lot me of African countries live like, like it's like Western is the monitor. Yeah. Like do this. Yeah. Take this, you know, with yeah. what we eat, what we believe, yeah. what we like. We they do, everything do everything they tell you to do. They're the parents. So the child. it's like when they don't know something is is because they they haven't been told, because they don't want them to, like to wake up them. Because what if they told Africans like you are the first people, you know? They're what going would to it think do? Like, what would it do? I don't know. What do you think would happen? If they told you Africans. that Africans were the first, people, the first people, what would happen? Like, there would be maybe a threat to them. How or so? Or maybe Africans would wake up in such a way they would want to fight. Fight back? Because yeah. why? Fight back with everything that's done. Like, oh, we are the first people. Because now first they people. know you lied to us. Mm -hmm. Or maybe there would be like, a competition you know when it's like mm -hmm. i am the first one like yeah. i'm the first one yeah you are the last who yeah. are you and stuff so people would and that's the thing i never understood is that stuff matters to people it never mattered because it's silly when you think about it who cares who was first we know we're first let's be honest but nobody cares? cares yeah but in their minds it's like it is a competition it is yeah and when they get out of that mindset they'll be free but that's part of the uh indoctrination but it's so Bella much said, bad when mm. i'm sorry you can you just point. go on. i cut your point off oh. <laughs> bella bell 703 says do do well, I think she might. Did you know there are, or do you know there are homeless people here in America? Yeah, I do. I was homeless in America. Came to Africa. <laughs> Catherine says she was homeless in America, and she came to Africa. No, I'm joking. Patrick I'm... says Miss Cat asked you to keep chickens way you don't want to make. What? You busy. I think this person is from here, but they they said Miss Cat asked you. To, I'm think I think what they're trying to say is ah uh, why you don't make the biz like you asked me to keep chickens, and they're saying why didn't you do it? <laughs> this one, Patrick to keep says Miss Cat. Like what? I don't know. Like as a business, I don't know. Patrick, what do you mean? Or maybe to cook the chicken. How to cook the chicken? I don't. I don't know. I think they uh, if, were looking at our old videos where you mentioned chickens are a good business. Ah, oh, maybe yeah. Somebody MN says don't burn it. South Africa deported my cousin after 16 years when it went through a period of exiling foreigners. If he had not had it, he wouldn't have been stateless and imprisoned unable to provide for dependents. I would never burn it. I'm saying theoretically. No, I ain't burning that dang thing. I need it to get where I need to be. At the end of the day, you can use the so system. So you can, you, can, you, can you can be accused by burning the thing? Yeah, they say we don't know where you come from. Yeah, yeah, because you don't have the passport then. How are you going to prove it? How are you going to prove where you come from? I would never burn it, no. But I'm saying let go of the life. That's When I say burn it, I mean let go of... The, all the freedom, yeah. the important things, the comfort. Let it go for, for the comfort. Who told you you were naked? And who are the snake that deceived the people? This person, Angela Jackson, is mm -hmm. at is uh, correcting her question above. 
God is spirit and those who know worship in spirit. Yeah. People don't realize that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very spirit. And it's a relationship, not a religion. Christianity won't get you to heaven. Neither no, will Islam. No, 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 not Your all. relationship but with God will. I think like it's so bad when it's like Africans are being fed that Echo. are being fed that uh, if you are a Muslim or if you're a Christian, that's a way to the, to heaven. Yeah. You know? But it's a lie. We are being told a lot of things that ain't true and we believe them. And a lot of people are Muslim and Christian here, but they also practice witchcraft. That to me is strange. I found that out recent. They said a lot of people do it here. Mm -hmm. Matthew 6 and 9 says, and be strong to build and mature and inspire each other. They don't do Israel, it Israel, don't fear. Rely on our Creator and His will on earth as is in heaven. It doesn't say in the world as it is in heaven. It says on earth. Mm -hmm. That's what God made, the earth. As it is in heaven will deliver His chosen. Yes, He will. And there's no fear. I've never had fear that things that I'm doing aren't going to work know, out. You know, it's like, even, even, even when it's like telling them that, what? It's said Mark prefers rabbits. You want to make a point, Captain? No. You got to talk to the people. I'm talking. Oh. Am I not talking? You got to say more to the people. It's just me rambling on. Hey. Dang, this is two hours long. I think African Americans are very intelligent and good hearted. And also very strong when it comes to hundreds of years of abuse. I love them so much they are the children of Africa. Not only not only African Americans, even 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 I think all Americans, even like the way you see Jamaicans, mm -hmm. the ladies. I think I told you once like about this. They are so tough. Yeah. Even Africans Americans, they're so tough. Even the women, like they're very, very tough. Y'all don't know you're you tough know? too. That's why they can they can speak their mind, you know? Yeah. So when I say they speak their mind, that means this person is confident, this person is tough, this yeah. person is strong. Yeah. Because not all the people, they can speak their mind. Some people, they are living with fear. They cannot do that. When you deal with a bully, you can speak your mind yeah. after. And right now, Africa is dealing with bullies. They just haven't stood up to them yet. Mm -hmm. We stood up to the bullies, and we still do. Yeah. And that's the difference, I think, is the level of fear. Mm -hmm. We are a fearful people, but we're also a faithful people in some ways. Yeah. And we also believe in, in and a lot a, of uh, African Americans they are spiritual. Many of them they are very spiritual. Some of them are. Um, a lot of them are carnal. Like you can ask like that's why I hear when people sometimes they come like they I even must have been asked these kind of questions like mm -hmm. which religion are you? And when he when he say like I am um, like not religious people are like dang huh? you know it's like here many people are not spiritual no they're religious religion with nothing behind it and that's the weirdest part ah i remember maya speaks she says hi mark and miss cat hi hi maya speaks we planned to meet but she's busy <laughs> avian dylan says mark meets africa young people should wash around the world thank you if only the message could spread. Yeah. Bike King says, Mark, take her to Vegas and show her a good time. Eh. Ooh, you know what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Eh. <laughs> Never Settle says, can we get a tour of the building? I don't see why not. We're connected to this charger, though. So maybe another <laughs> we day. We love to walk with the tripod. <laughs> it's the wire. They give us papers, but... They give us peppers, but our lenders don't know to make good exchange like tools and machines. Yeah, I see what you mean. Oh, Patrick. Okay. I see what you mean. The last name is Tanzanian. You see, it's a Swahili last name. Yeah. Mugesan. Papers like uh, by 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 certificates and stuff. Yeah. Yes, like most like of money. Money, but yeah. instead of exchanging for like machines and equipment and tangible I things. I think in the past like butter trade was best, you yeah. know, where people exchanged like materials by materials. I believe so. You know, I, I have I have I have cones I give you. I need maids. You yeah. give me maids. 
simple way to live. People helping people. Mm -hmm. Imin says, thanks for answering. You're right. The only thing I cannot drop is the unhealthy elderly dependent family member I am governing. I can extract everything else not necessarily to fulfill that obligation. But what's to keep me from taking them with you so they can have a peaceful end to their days? Bike King. Because if you're obli- and I'm sorry to go back, MN, but if you're obligated to take care of them, then no one said you had to take care of them in the city. Unless they have some medical thing that, like dialysis or something, where you actually have to take them in every week or two. Mm. But, I don't know. What's to keep you from taking them? Taking them with you. <laughs> but it would not have any beautiful African people like there. Whatever. I think it's part of another Maybe. comment. Got to go, guys. Wish you a good day and wisdom. Thank you Thank if you're you. still here. People live close to their jobs. Mark, do you know yoga? Yoga, like the practice of yoga, or the exercise? Mm -hmm. I think I do, but I don't. I've never done it. I know what you mean, but I don't know how to do it, and I don't have too much of an interest in it. But it'd be nice to something similar to yoga, like uh, dancing, like. <laughs> yeah, I dance a lot. That's what you know. One leg. <laughs> Cory Booker says being different is nothing wrong with that. Yeah, so, very true. I love. But the world is making it so much difficult and weird to be different. Yeah. When you're being different, they look at you in the different way. The white light like is not giving. Stuff. I would like, but Don't there is no water. water. There's no water. Yeah. Dang, we gotta go out and get some water. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I think we can make some time. Maybe. Do we have? No, we'll have to go get a lot of things. I love your conversations and wisdom for such young people. It's very encouraging, by the way. That's 369 Ether. And Ether also said you can fit four Americans. You can fit four Americas in Africa. I believe it's more than that. Mm. But again, Africa is not unified. Africa is a place divided into 54. So what until do you Africa. Mean that Africa is not unified. Catherine, it's borders. Yeah. You can't say, oh, Tanzania is huge. Africa is huge. And Tanzania are huge are two different things. Because hmm. the size of the country, America is one country. It's 50, it's 50 states, but it is one country. And it's huge. For one country, it's very large. Most countries in the so world are not that big. they say Africa is like. They're, 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 it's like Every saying, country and they are like yeah, independent. Yeah, know? as if they're not multiple countries. Because I think deep down inside, everybody knows Africa is supposed to be unified. When Even to the Africa, point where they say Africa is huge. Mm. Or people in Africa. They don't say in Tanzania. Mm. They say people in Africa. Why? Because they know. Everybody knows. East Africa tends to be quiet. West Africa is a little louder and expressive. That's the stereotype. Sure is. You guys should come visit London. You'd love. I'm also Tanzanian living in UK. Okay, Mohammed, we'd love to come. You got our tickets? Or no, just invite. I want to go to London. I want to, because I've never been to the UK and it's on my list. I'm not scared away because it's the West. I like it. I want, well, no, I wouldn't want to live in it, but I'd love to see it. Mm. I think Mark got the charger too late. So I'm answering questions from 20 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago. Yeah. Okay, let me scroll down. Oh, Indigo Child said, I have reached out. I even reached out to you for help looking for housing, but I never got a reply. I almost want to put my WhatsApp number out there. Because yeah, guys, emails, like, they, you know, there's so things, many, I, I can't keep up with them sometimes. These things, are, you remember what we talked about? Mm -hmm. Like the thing like tour guiding and stuff, like housing, helping people. Like we can set up the number, like special yeah. number for that. We're going to set know? up a number, y'all. Mm -hmm. Catherine's going to keep me on track. And she's going to help us with this. She's going to, because you do part of that too. Ooh. Ish. Ooh. 
child learn? Hello. Miss Catherine will lose herself out there. That place will take you. Sure will. Convenience is addictive. That's what I'm telling y'all. I'm looking at some of you guys' comments right now. Tell Miss Cat to say Jesus in her language. Carpenter is same as handyman. He used his hands a lot to heal society. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm skipping over some comments. Marcus from Vegas. We chilling with Mark here and been yawning. Be awake and have a glass of water. Y'all, princess, princess, I have been up. I tell you, I don't sleep anymore, y'all. Yesterday I was up to like two something because I have this inspiration at night, like two, three o'clock, one to three, something like that. And I'll go and just come out here sometimes. I'll get to work. Ooh, that's a lot of mosquitoes. We're going to do some fumigation over here. We just got some special things that keep the mosquitoes away. I haven't sprayed it though. Yeah, guys. So sometimes I'll be a little tired. That's also why I don't get to emails. I'll be doing this from morning until night. And when I, you know, kind of wrap up for the night, I just don't have the energy to go and look at emails. Lazy, but when this thing gets started, I'll get things back in order. Sorry, y'all. Okay, guys. I'm going to... Mark, wise soul, I'm 33. I've started watching your content right after Magafu went to, went to the spirit realm. Great inspiration to older fellows and families making their move to Tanzania. You have to cook them on high heat so they want to eat Wow, well, thank you guys for all the positive comments, Pan African 101. thought you were dead a little Catherine, I'm just reading some of these comments. Yeah. Some people have difficulty seeing what color brown is. Oh, from the, the tables? Mm -hmm. Or from where? No, no, Catherine, There, these are color old brown. comments. You gotta, oh. Catherine, yeah. you said some people have difficulty seeing what the color brown is. Like, really? like delicious roasted chicken. You don't eat, <laughs> you don't eat white chicken. You eat it when it's brown, not pink, brown, not pale, brown. Yeah, I like my food brown. They say we are not black, brown. we are brown. And brown is tasty. Yeah, I think so. For the chips, when it's brown, it becomes like sugar. Yeah. America is a very fast paced place. People talk fast and move fast. Africans are enjoying the time. Leisurely, yeah. <laughs> That's how you're supposed to live, or it's at least closer. Yeah, very true. Moo said, nah, I've never been bike king. Never. Oh, he's talking to somebody else. Mm -hmm. I think so. I think so. Toast, maybe not bread alone. <laughs> we don't just eat bread. <laughs> Mark, are you planning to get married? I would love to get married, bike king. But my standard for getting married is when I have things in order, it's fair to get married. It's not fair to get married and not have the ability like to see the person. What, like, is it like necessary? Mm, I think so. I want children. I want to get married. I want children. I want a wife. I don't see why not. The question is when. And I'd like to do something as soon as I fin or when I, you know, after I'm done with this. Because this is already stressful enough. You don't want to bring somebody into a I stage of I, life that's I already think, stressful. Another thing is like, you're still young. To jumping into those stuff. Society can't tell me what they want me to do, Kat. Society can't tell me nothing. They ain't gonna tell me I'm too young. They not gonna tell me I'm too old. They not gonna tell me nothing. Because society changes its mind too much. 
I'm telling you, 20 years ago, half the stuff that is right is now wrong. And it's going to change again in 20 more years. I'm telling you, it's going to change again. Give it 20 years. It'll change. It's going to be like it's, it's like mm. people can, can be married even for 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> While now it's illegal. Yeah. <laughs> for 10 years. What's your thoughts on Africans? An African actually becoming free at some point. Yeah. Is it possible? What, what are your thoughts? I've they, never heard your thoughts. What is Use their Answer power. That Look at the I'm response like to China, Russia. Africa can be free. I don't think Africa will be Africans free. Africans. To be well. honest, Africans can be free. But it's like saying, what are your thoughts on America being free? Or no, no. What are your thoughts on African Americans being free? Individually, we can all be free, but as nations, no, these things are set. These are those principalities that the Bible spoke about. These are those wickednesses in high places. These are governments, established systems that have been accepted as the normal. They will never change. They must be destroyed. Not to say you guys have to destroy your, your governments and systems, but it's to say that there's no changing. Mm. Individuals can learn and, and free themselves and go inwards, but the countries will never know and people make those things up people make up the country so maybe with enough people yeah but it starts on the individual on the very individual, individual yeah. level but individuals refuse to see themselves as individual because they're too busy group thinking mm. what is that what? are those strings connected to this tree who did that which tree you see that tree right there the small one right there with the red flowers I don't know, we shall go and see. Yeah, I, n I never noticed that until now. But you never looked. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Good to see you on here, Maya Speaks. Thank you for all that you What is do. your assumption on African Amer Africans? Uh, assumption? Like, what what, mean, are, like, what, what are your thoughts? Before and after? Before, I didn't think much of them. I didn't think about them at all. I just figured there were people like me. And now I see them as people like me who have a bunch of issues like me. And when I say like me, I mean like the people I come from. So we're just people. Everybody's got problems and family can have problems too. We're one big family, but sometimes we don't get along. And it's not because, you know, one is better or worse than the other. It's because we have a lack of understanding as to one another's problems. So when you ask me what I think about Africans, to be honest with you, I don't want to think about Africans because the problem is, let's fix me first. Let me, Let get me myself ask you this unscared. question. Why Africans and Americans are always judgmental? I think we feel the same about Africans. No. Very judgmental. Because no. think about it, Catherine. What you're saying can be applied both ways. Mm. When you have Africans who look down on you because your car is dirty or because... Yeah, that's judgmental. Very. Yeah. And then when you look at all the shallow stuff that goes on in the society just in Tanzania. Maybe it's the African thing. No, it's both. Trust me, it's both. Because African Americans think? are judgmental too. People, Catherine. Let's stop putting titles on people because Tanzania didn't exist when my ancestors were taken. People are judgmental. No, people when I horrible. say like Africans, I talk with the other race, different between the other race. Yeah. But I don't know, Catherine. To me, it's just people doing things. Hurt. They say hurt people hurt people. And we are a hurt people hurting people. And we yeah. do it well. Yeah. What do you think about... What do you think about Wanda L sounds very familiar. We Wanda, love watching it, your it, journey. Wanda. That's one. It might be that one. Mm. I don't know if it's that one. There's a picture, so. but it's, it's pretty small for my eyes. We love watching your journey. Started with you at the airport in Las Vegas. You are like an adventurous Pan-African grandson. Stay strong. Thank you, Wanda L. I wish I had the videos from when I first started, when I was in the airport. I deleted them Why? because of... Well, you know why. What's uh, her yeah. name? Yeah. yeah. We won't say her name, but I was done with Africa. I mean, no, I was done with YouTube. I said, this doesn't even make Back sense. Back then when you Somebody... were emotional. <laughs> well, that, no, no, it was you logic. Was because I, look, look, look. No, logic no, no. would never tell you to delete the videos. Logic told me that if people, because I thought, here's then how it was going to go. lying to you. Logic was telling me this, because I saw the response. She can say anything and people would believe it. In my mind, I said, I don't want to be in a system where I can't even defend myself, you know? Because she said this thing, oh, he's a spy. And the people just assumed it was true. 
nobody questioned nobody looked into it nobody asked anything they just said okay she said it must be true to me that was the display of how people are and i said i don't want to be with people like but that. emotion logical would tell you like logical oh, she said, said delete it wait logical said like you okay the, this lady has said i am a spy i yeah. am am i a spy no logic would tell you like never never, never i know never. i'm not a spy but Catherine, never. logic also says don't argue with people who aren't gonna see your point of view that's what I thought I was doing when I deleted all my videos. I said, I'm not going to argue with people about something like this. So I said, no, I'm done with this. I said, because I'm not going to get them to understand. But the thing is, and I believe this was God, if anything, the universe, the ancestors, nobody believed that. <laughs> people were sending me messages, even from the Tanzanian government, saying, we don't believe that. One, or not from the Tanzanian government, there was a wife of somebody in the government. And she was into psychology and she said we think she's off and again i don't know i'm not gonna bring this back up but yeah it's one of those things where i guess all i'm trying to say is i wish i didn't delete those videos and yeah i was a little in my feelings yeah you are but at the same time i saw it as a strategic move i said i'm not gonna sit here and play this game where one person makes a video about you and then you make one about and you keep going back and forth and back and forth and back it's a beef whether it's to get attention or whatever the heck you're doing it for, I don't play that game. Not interested. Fight King said, Mark, have kids and build your family now. Ah, you'd be surprised. But yeah, you're right, Fight Man. Tell them the truth. Don't be fake now. Don't be fake now. The internet has opened up our world. We can see how people like all over the globe we can see how people are like mm -hmm. pan african 101 says do you offer consultations looking to invest and move the family over what have you checked out fumba town i saw fumba town everybody's talking about fumba town you you never go there never been ever... there i gotta go back to zanzibar when i'm finished with this i'll relax mm -hmm. i'll take a, a one or two day vacation in zanzibar uh, or the other one I don't do consultations. I used to do free consultations, but I don't have time anymore. Pan African 101, if you message me on Instagram, maybe we can talk about um, something. I might. I, I, I like talking on the phone with people, so probably set up a phone call and just casually talk about Africa. I'm coming over here. Look at this paint, Catherine. This oil paint never comes off. Even huh? me, hey. Yeah, it's not coming off. And you got these mosquitoes. You want some of this? Uh, where is it? It was there. Usain. 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 Now, number kiddo. What's the See, you happy like any number. Where are you going to Ah, Ipo. Them. Ipo. I'm going to go grab it. Where is it? It's right there. I'm over here asking him to get it, and it's right there. See, I'm like one of them people. Uh -huh. Can't be lazy, because that's a lesson they'll learn. For real. Children are meant, not meant to serve you. They're meant to serve with you. Yeah, I, I thought like the, they were there. Enjoy, Baba. Enjoy. But this, normally I don't like this chemical. Uh, even me. But yeah. I am Baba. Look, he's building a house over there out of um he out has of been sticks. A carpenter. He's a carpenter, <laughs> like his brother. Mm -hmm. Any carpenter? When I do a carpenter. I'm a funi, I'm about, I'm a me. <laughs> now, funi, I'm mad. I think this mafuta has entered on my, on my, my, um, where I was cut myself. Yeah. So, Are you a Okay. Howdy, y'all. Okay, I'm back. Catherine went to go wash her hands as she stated. Princess Princess says, if it's true you believe Afro people were first, 
the majority of African Americans and natives of America, Columbus came to discover you existed there too. Yeah, we might have been everywhere. Angela Jackson says that. Yeah. Yeah, the churches, they like the choir. Like what are you what are you directing? Guiding the spirit of into you. Waste of energy. <laughs> the people here do that a lot. Even when you're when you're reversing, you're trying to park, they'll be going like this, even though you're not looking. You don't need help pulling out the parking. Sometimes you do, but sometimes it's like, man. You see me, I got this. You over here like this, like you the one telling me to back up. You ain't telling me nothing, man. I got a reverse camera in that shot. <laughs> but they don't know, they just trying to help. <laughs> Maybe. But sometimes they want to feel like they doing something. Like security guards, you stand over there. <laughs> because their just work because is to stand. Their work is to watch. To, it's to the, watch yeah, and it's get to money. stand there. And sometimes but, they feel like, oh, I need to have a power But if I was doing that something. work, I would be relaxing there. Like just sitting and... Unless you walk up with a gun, we good. I'm not gonna say nothing, but they have to look busy, I think. But just imagine a police guard with no gun. Yeah. <laughs> Naked and this is a... guy is old. Yeah. Naked is a sign of nothing to hide. Purity in its natural form, a connection to nature. I agree, it's relationship, not religion. That's what Wanda L said. And Angela Jackson said the thing about naked being a sign of purity. Yeah, yeah. it is. You have nothing to hide. Mm -hmm. And I, what if the serpent was like society? Like, what if it was the, the development of the idea, that first establishment of evil, of something to hide? Because they had to, well, no, I'm going somewhere with this. I don't know where. <laughs> but look at society now. There's tribes that are naked and they go and tell them, well, you shouldn't be naked. Mm. And now you don't see it. Not to say you need to, but it's to say that look how the world has shifted. Mm. Back in a time where that didn't mean anything. It just how it was how people were. Like in terms of everybody was okay with everybody. Now you have like this sadistic thought process people have. Yeah. They're just dark-minded people. No, they're not dark-minded. Their hearts are dark. Desperately wicked. They want to be wicked, some of them. Ah, Princess Princess says, they practice witchcraft because they are full of, full of fear. Let investigate witchcraft. Okay. Yeah. I believe that witchcraft is a form of fear. Because faith is, I don't, I don't, again, faith you know. Witchcraft is you have to take control because you don't know. You have to try to control people and things because you don't know. If it's gonna, no, you have to be in control. No, let God be in control. That's faith. Witchcraft takes away the ability to control. I used to use the analogy that it's like a father with two children and he says, close your eyes and fall back. One child closes their eyes and falls backwards and they, they get caught. And the other one is so afraid they have one eye open. That's witchcraft. It's having one eye open. So you're basically cheating. Witchcraft is cheating. Love the work you're doing, Mark and Catherine. Uh, please keep up the good work. I'd like to donate. How can I do so? Yonder B. Catherine, how can they donate? How can they donate? How can they donate? Yeah. Do you have my cash out? <laughs> do you have my cash out? Catherine, do you have my I cash out? Let me see if I have my cash out. She you said have donate. It. You Let's have see. it. You have it. I have one. Yeah, you have it. I have to look at it. I don't you know. You have it, is. Mark. You don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what my cash app is. Maybe I'll put I'll put my cash app and Catherine's link to her channel in the description. See now I'm gonna use the description. Thank you. In the past you didn't. No, like, I didn't. You wasn't posting me. But now, no. you know, I thought about it. People wanna do they people wanna support from afar. Let them. Because everything I make goes into what I do. Like just if, if unless it's like food, I gotta eat. But I have my own money too. But everything additional I get goes right into this, because this is my every day. This is my every single day. 
African Americans are not spiritual. They are above spiritual. They have become crazy. <laughs> Princess, princess, you are funny. Where are you from? They have become crazy. Because some things she's... Not... Man, princess, princess, tell us more about yourself. They have become crazy. Good evening. Rena, I have to call somebody. There's a friend I haven't talked to in a long time, and I got to call him. Somebody made a comment. Eddie Thorne says, Princess, Princess, most Americans are like that. We do not practice what we preach. Everything bad being legalized. Yeah, that's crazy. When you say something and don't do it, not only is that a lie, and the devil is a liar. Think about that. Because that is what we do. You gotta be crazy to not see the um, Eti Dada. Where we need to Awapi. That's what the person commented. That's from Masani Allah. Yeah, I am from Tanzania. You gotta tell her in the, in the, in the language. She wants Me to made to, it to Tanzania. She, she wants that. That's why she said it in yeah, Swahili. In Swahili. She's trying to bait you into speaking the language. Yeah, meaning him to Tanzania, Dar es Salaam. Ndo uh, but nilizaliwa Mbea in the south. Then nikamia that is now. Somebody says what time? Is it? Time. Six eleven, right? Six eleven. It's six eleven. I looked, Kevin. Uh, thought I was gonna get you. I thought you you looked from the sun because no. some people they can look at the sun and they'll be like, no, I, it's yeah, back in the days. People will look on the sun and say, now it's, what time, now what it's 8. That's right now, it's, it's 8.32. But, but if you don't have the, the, the watch now, yeah. eh, you don't know the time. People are being lazy now, you know. You don't know time. I have set to set up operations and sales funnels to handle email marketing and social media marketing and also can handle all your texts and calls. Yeah, I want to do that with Merv. You are beautiful. Pencil pen. Okay, guys. Thank you. Cat, tell the name of Jesus in Swahili. Yes. That's what they said. When you said, who is that? When I said Yeshua. Mm -hmm. It's the same name? Yes. Yeah, Yeshua, Yehovah, Yahweh. Who? Who is asking young people about marriage? perverts princess princess i don't think they meant it in a negative way <laughs> you know princess. princess is protective and i like it thank you princess princess, princess but i don't think they meant it badly <laughs> pencil pen says you look like malcolm x okay thank you everybody is saying like that back then they used to say it a lot so you have malcolm x's energy marcus garvey mm. but i'm me that's it i can't be anybody else Ooh, look at that, dude. Cut my leg. Pan African 101 says, What are your thoughts on Chat GPT AI? It's it's a game changer if you know how to use it. I'm gonna leave it at that. It really is. Very powerful tool. Okay, y'all press the like button for this great content make Mark brings. Thank you, Yonda B. But we have more likes than people. Yeah, I see. Is that Tiffany Cuckoo Girl? She just says Venice. Oh, Princess Princess be speaking stuff. <laughs> Eve Adams says, Catherine, are you attracted to Mark? Question mark. No. Oh. Patricia Lampkin says, hey, Mark and Miss Cat, you are on the right track. The universe is real and alive, and your ancestors are definitely watching over you. Much love. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, look at this. Jaglinda G. Mm -hmm. I can't say the last name. Akino, Akin Tola says Mark will marry when he meets wife spiritually. Yeah. He can, yes, I'm screenshotting that. Marriage in thin air. Heck no. 
and it does have to be spiritual if i can't have a deep conversation with the person i'm sorry no shallow is shallow and i don't like shallow it's just superficial superficiality isn't what i like that's why i think there's not much that can tempt me these women they're very beautiful some of them but if there's no conversation i don't like them i'm sorry and it's easy to just say okay not you not you not people find that weird one guy he said why aren't you over here having sex with all the women i said why would i want to do that like that makes me weird because people come over like, here and their like, pants like, just like lose what their princess, pants lose like control. what princess said princess said why are you guys always in the why are y'all always in your, in your pants i i'm i'm and it's it, it's i guess it's a natural urge that people have but at the same time if you ain't got no self-control and then claim most people come over here claiming bible or quran nowhere in there does it say to go to a place and just go get freaky with every woman you see but at, at the end of the time then like, you get seen as weird is it for like not doing necessary it. no you don't have to mark is on it speaking the language yes 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 as best i can yeah. but not that great ha uh ha -huh. they need to feel they are doing something yeah princess princess knows how the <laughs> security guards here are they have to feel like they're doing, they're doing something. something they're in charge of something they're not standing because in their mind they think like oh, i'm getting this money for free i'm just standing yeah moose says feel free to wash that oil paint off at mark meets africa that's a yeah um it's the oil paint it's come off i rubbed it off but it's um you got to use the solvent to get it off it doesn't come off with water but i guess that's what he means um solvent I, or yeah, paint thinner so. Pan-African one, and I don't have any paint thinner. I ran out. And all the solvents is gone too for some reason. So you gotta go get more. Maybe one liter. Maybe this. To clean this brush, because I don't want that brush going stiff. I have 10 brushes that are all stiff. Mm. Those painters did a terrible job leaving the brushes out like that. They could have been reused. Maybe we can, maybe we still can if we soak them long, you know. Maybe. Is there enough land on Zanzibar still available for black American investors to develop our vision on Fumba Town or is all the good area of the land and beaches purchased already? Pan-African 101, there's no bad land, but I don't know. I don't know if Zanzibar is taken. I've no, heard about I Fumba think, Town. I think, I, I think Zanzibar, they allow foreigners to buy land. So they there, there, might be, there might be none left. Not none left. There might be land, but it's maybe good. outside the city. Yeah, outside. I want to look at land outside the city, Catherine. Zanzibar yeah. is not that big, but they and have uh, land. because uh, there uh, because there are a lot of people buying land there, and uh, it's kind of like it, like um, the city, like everybody likes wants and stuff. Yeah, everybody so, wants to be in the city. Yeah, so yeah, it can get expensive somehow, but. The more outside the city you go, the more cheaper it becomes. Yeah, I need to put the link for my cash out in the description. Because this person said, make sure. Oh, somebody gave another. Yonda B says, yes, you can put it in the description. I'll definitely donate. Y'all are doing the Lord's work. Big up yourself. Rachel, thank you, Yonda B. Rachel Castile says, are y'all dating? Y'all make a beautiful couple. No. Moose Mo says hi Mark and Cat. Masani Allah one. says ah sour. Another one. Mm, that's for you. I ain't gonna read Joel. What? What is Wow, what Angela 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 what which is one? This, this one? This mm. isn't Swahili. What Lirid? Mm -mm, that's, Lirid Swahili. that's for you. This is for you. It's Swahili now. Which one is this one? Viwanja. Via Starehe. This guy doesn't like these things. Like just show him like places to go and like have like you know like the things like clubs maybe. Like she where wants to go you to and take have me fun. To the clubs? No, this is example. Like mm. a place where you can go and have fun. Maybe. I don't do that. This doesn't go to club, mm. doesn't go like to go out to like to the beach and he's living near the beach. Yeah. He hasn't, he has the never, beach is across the street. Ever, I've never been there. Ever gone to the beach. He stays near the, the club. 
He doesn't even. Yeah, know. the club is right there. <laughs> it's it's outside he the gate. He is near everything, but, but he to doesn't me, it's go. just the location. This but is because we're thing. putting this here because people want to be here. But me personally, I don't. You like don't it. want to be here. I don't like it. The Mark, it's, Mark it's, is it's, the person. Another one. Wow, Angela Bowden says he sent me twenty dollars. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's and uh, another one. Hey, wow, from the ground up says, "Hey, Mark." And Jarvis STV says, "Keep up the good work, Mark." And sent twenty dollars too. Thank you. Y'all are nice. I'll see, you see, wait a second. This is how my channel used to be. I get on live. You be give me a little extra cash on the side. I'll be like, wait a second, y'all over here treating me too nice, trying to kill me or something. <laughs> what y'all trying to do? See, you must be buttering me up to kill me. Because you only put butter on things you want to eat. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I really do appreciate yeah, all the support. <laughs> don't think I got it going on because I don't ask for it. It's not to say I'm broke either, but mm. it is to say everything I make goes back into what I do. And every roadblock, every crazy person trying to extort every random situation that comes up every extra expense that goes through me so i appreciate you guys for understanding and helping if there is a Swahili, what somebody is says hmm. talk truth says security guards in tanzania are hilarious hey! yes they are i think are. And they're more than police even more you than a police. You can walk yeah. around a policeman and it can be very polite and eh, you never want to be around security guards. Because they think it's their job to be aggressive. You see them in immediate, even if you're walking by a security guard, 90% of the, tell me if I'm wrong, 90% of the time there's a 90% there's a chance they're going to say something to you. You know, I saw one police guard, he was like off the job, the yeah. way he was walking. Mm -hmm. Let me show you the way he was walking. I looked at him and I was like, Should what I does this? He, no, he oh. was walking like this. Please. He was like this. He was skinny like me. Skinny. Mm -hmm. But he was, I think he was like doing some like uh, mazuez, you know? Yeah. He was walking like Wow. Like, like his arms were too his big. his uniform, blue uniform. He has too much. But that's how people, and I don't get where that, I think with they want to feel important. With the uniform that I did wear when I was in primary. <laughs> but Catherine, police, I mean, security guards have to go through the same, like, police sort of thing, right? Yes, but I don't know if they do. But they, they think to... they're police. They're not police. And they're so much aggressive than police. Very. If y'all thought police brutality was a thing in the States, and I'm, I'm not saying they'll physically attack you, you but they're aggressive. Seen... Security like the, the security you can park your car in a designated mm. parking spot and you they'll have an issue <clears throat> why did you park there because i'm this is a parking space where are you going in the building it's right in front of us why would i come here and not go into the building mm. what do you want to do here yeah i'm here like to go and they'll ask questions. you things like you're here at the bank you park in front of the bank in the parking space in front of the bank why are you here i want to take out money why why do you want my do you want my business plan and their salary is like two hundred thousand. they be making fifty dollars a month <laughs> talking about why are you at the bank how much are you taking out then they get very personal they want to know for their own personal <laughs> how much are you taking out how much money do you make like they become very very personal with it yeah. <laughs> can i come to your house <laughs> no, they won't say that, but yeah. they go they go very deep with it. I've had people ask me exactly that. Why are you taking out money? Like, come on. Can I walk in the bank? And you have to be friendly because they'll stop you. Mm. And they'll get aggressive. They'll put their hands on you. And you can't do anything about it because technically they're the law. Strange, but that's how it is. Hilarious is a nice word to use. Horrendous is another. Talk true. <clears throat> wrap it in plastic. The brush. Yeah, I might find some plastic and wrap it up. Yeah, that's how it's gonna like. Uh, it's not going to be hard. You Hopefully. mean like that? I'll maybe just, you have to maybe wash I'll rinse after. it off. You yeah. have to wash after you finish uh, painting. Yeah. Because maybe let me go wash it. the brush. Wait now, you want to go and wash now? <laughs> well, it's getting hard. Well, it's not that hot right now. No, you can leave it on, in water for 
for a day. Oil paint ain't gonna do nothing in water. It's non-reactive. Mm, I but, see. But I, I wish I had some more solvent. Maybe I can, do we have more petrol? I know. Gasoline? You can leave it in some gasoline. Nope, we <laughs> ran out yesterday. <laughs> Moose said, he said people come over here and their pants loose their drawstrings. Yeah, people come over here and they, it's like they ha they didn't get any in America, so they come over here and, <laughs> and try to get, get as get much as America. they can. It's like they were starving <laughs> and they came over here and started eating as much as they could. That's sad. America is a place of starvation spiritually. This is the place of starvation sometimes physically, but it's not to say everybody's starving here, just like not everyone is starving spiritually over there. I was thriving spiritually in America. Over here, it's like, whoa, it's a whole nother story. Because there's so many dark spirits. Everywhere you go, there's darkness. But this place, I'm telling you. And then the people coming are not making it better. We have brothers and sisters coming over here in their 60s trying to get some. <laughs> in their 60s. trying, And I didn't know this was happening until like a month ago. Three years, I didn't know because I stayed away from people. And people were saying I was weird because I'm not trying to do what they're doing. I'm not trying to go over here and get freaky with 30 but, women. But not only that, I think it's a personal thing. Very personal, Catherine. Because when you but say they're all like, doing so, it. Like, a lot of them are doing not all of them. Yeah, it's a lot. It's, not all of it's too many. Because there are some people here. They and look they at are... you crazy because you don't want to be a part of that. And then they say they're in church. This is the worst part about it. They say, Are you coming to Sunday church? Sunday or Shabbat or whatever they do. Shabbat. They got all these religious gatherings and then they're, they, they look at you freaky because you're not getting freaky. Man, people are weird. People are, to me, that's weird. People are strange. To them, you're weird. <laughs> to them, I'm weird. To me, they're weird. Because that don't make sense. It's it's counterintuitive. You can't say that you're here to do this and you stand by these values in theory, but in practice, you don't. If I say, hey, I'm going to do this and this to the best of my ability, I'm going to do it. If I can't do it, it's because something stood in my way and I couldn't get around. That's it. It's not because I just woke up and decided, nah, no, not today. No. When I'm tired, I work. Catherine had to motivate me two days ago. Was it two days ago or yesterday? Every day. Every day sometimes. But, you know, hey, let's go out, let's dig, let's do this. Because I was thinking, dang, I'm so tired. I stayed up all night. The next day, the next day, eventually it starts catching up with you physically. Then I said, yeah, we still got to go out and dig. We still got to go out and do this. We still got to paint these tables that we have all around us. Y'all can't even see this, the tables and the umbrellas we're making and all this stuff ourselves because we walked through so many fundies and they didn't know what they were doing. So I said, I'm not going to give myself more stress by allowing myself to keep using the fundies, these workers here. I said, I'm not doing it. And I'm not going to pay no premium for somebody to do to do the job correctly. No. So I think, you know, I'm just going to do it myself. And that's what I'm doing. Catherine and I. So we're doing it. Even little man. Ooh. I looked at a, a dilapidated house in Zanzibar. They wanted over 150000 for it. That's too much. It's too much. Dilapidated Jacked up home. <laughs> messed up and they wanted all that. Depends on the area though, it might have been fair. Anonymous Sovereign says, do they have a home goods store like Home Depot? Sort of, but not really. They have like uh, markets mm. where you can go in and buy like uh, wood, mm. saws and things, but their shops next to each other all selling the same thing. And there's some places that have a lot of things, but there's no like name brand store. Like Home Depot is a franchise. So a franchise might do well here, a tool store. But then could you compete, could you compete with the uh, local prices on the street? But you'd be giving them service. Cause in these places, the problem with a lot of these shops is the price changes every for each person and for each item. If you had a place where you labeled things and priced them, you would attract people that knew what they were paying. They wouldn't enter your store unless they, unless, because some people go into a store to negotiate. Mm. People that know your store, if it was like a Home Depot here, or a brand like Home Depot, they would come in, you, you, you'd help the market so much because you'd have but people that wrote the prices me, like, down. You see these kind of like good, like, mm. like gains yeah. in, in, in the money. Most of these 
brands, their com like companies, they are closing their companies here. I don't know what's going on. Death and people are like people. They they Somebody they kicked Uber out of Tanzania because the drivers was it Uber or the car section of Uber? But no, it's back. It's back. Mm. But for a time, Uber left Tanzania because the drivers were coordinating with one another to kind of sort of like artificially raise the price in Uber. Oh, somebody gave me. Mark is approved. Thank you, I think. Talk Truth says, Catherine, why are the females so mean towards other women, especially foreigners, even when foreigner tries to be nice to them? Talk Truth said that. I don't think so. What do you think? I don't know. I don't think so. I, I think, think maybe it's a female thing. Yeah, women don't like women. Mm. Women hate other women. Even in America, I, I've seen it. They don't like each other. They feel like uh, there's a threat. A lot of them feel threatened by other women, and I don't know why. But I think what she's saying is you do have a lot of women here mm. that are a little, and it can come off as mean. Mm. Maybe it's not mean, but the way she sees it, the way a lot of us coming here see it, see it you don't smile. You don't Yeah, seem people happy. here are not like, it's, it's, it's like. They don't smile, yo. Wait. It's not normal. Yeah, wait, it's like how I asked you about Russia. Yeah. I said, you even on pictures, you see Russians don't smile at all. You know, people don't believe on like facial expression, maybe in business, in any way, anything. You don't, they don't believe in it. Really? Like, they don't believe how important is. I think like, they're unhappy. You maybe, yeah. If Even if Catherine, like, a lot of unhappy. Those, a lot of women maybe may, might be going through stuff, you know, with the family. A lot of stuff. Yes. Yeah, so or some of them are just, Catherine, when you some go of to the a restaurant. Just like that. If y'all are watching this video, tell me if this is true. If you're mm. a diaspora who's been to Tanzania, mm. and this is so common, even at nice places, not every nice place, but it's common. Almost every place that's local is like this. Mm. When you go there and there's a dada, which is a woman who's mm. serving you the food, yeah, she's dragging her feet. She looks like she doesn't want to be there. Yeah, it's not like you can't say, you can't explain that to people. Let me Where it's maybe, like, maybe oh, I they don't know to like smile. This. No, she looks unhappy. Let me keep it like this. Uh, I think some of people they go to school with expectation that they are going to get the job that they yeah. they they, they uh, regarding to what they did study. You mm -hmm. know, they think like they are going to get the job that they like. At the end of the time, they find something that they don't like. Maybe working in the restaurant. So this person is not going to give you the best service because that's not the place they wanted to be, yeah. you know? They're and not happy. Uh, a lot of people, they have no this kind of like, uh, 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 um, like customer, customer service, service skills no customer they service. don't have. That don't exist here. Yes. Yeah, that, so that, wait, that's technology. The, no, I ain't got, got that. <laughs> so like a lot of people, they don't have that. Even 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 business management yeah they don't you know? have it which, you, could, which is, you could have raw yeah. food served to you and mm -hmm. the manager's gonna say why are you angry yes they'll look at you well can you just pay now and leave yes. they'll ask you can you pay and leave so this is the reason you are running had it happen yeah you are running uh uh Strange. into these kind of things you know bad service and you might be thinking like it's rude but it is rude yeah Jeff. you can't explain away rudeness because rude is not something that's like, oh, you know, it's different for These each culture. People don't rude know is rude. That they are rude. If I'm speaking to you and you're rolling your eyes at me, it's rude. Whether you're American These people, or Tanzanian. They don't know that they are rude. You Some know? of them know they don't care. Mm -hmm. When she said, why do the women act like that? I know that's what she's talking about. Other, other thing is like a lot of people, they have attitude, you know? Big attitude. You just go to around a person. And some, some, some of the people, Tanzanians, they'll be speaking. You know, one mm -hmm. day I was... Uh, uh, at the saloon and the la ladies were like speaking like oh you know you can go even in Kariako you see somebody selling and they can be having this attitude you know not only like these people are maybe might be working in a place that they don't want some people they feel superior being in that kind of work even if like it's a it's a 300,000 pay yeah <laughs> but that's they the feel thing like superior like I am having this better that's judgmental this judgmental. is a guys if i'm and i'm not trying to downgrade africa but 
at least in Tanzania, it's a very judgmental place. Your looks matter. If you look broke, they'll treat you like you're broke and they treat you badly. If you didn't get out of a nice car, they'll treat you badly. If you're speaking English, but you're not wearing nice clothes, they'll look down on you. They'll say, well, you're pretending you're American. Or I've had, I look, apparently I look real Tanzanian and I'll go out wearing paint stained clothes because I need to get something from the hardware store or the hardware market. The when small. you speak English, they'll be like, this, this might be a He's broke, pretending. a broke person from America or a pretender. Yeah. And most of the times they just assume pretender. I don't know. Because what don't, American is buying hardware. I don't know hardware. how it feels because I don't judge people. You don't, but they do. And you can't, you, you got to prepare the people coming. We're not being mean. We're telling them the truth. You might run into a lot of rude people because a lot of people are unhappy. Rude people are just unhappy people. Yeah, they're some going of them are through bitter. Stuff. They're going through stuff, and they see these people, people they don't know how to like to go around, like to 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 keep their business out of other people's business. They don't, and you will run into it here. I'm yeah. guaranteeing it to you. It's not it. something that should scare you away from coming or keep you. You from know, staying. sometimes you can be around like a person you don't even know, and they can start telling their problem. Yeah, they will. Like I'm going through this and this and this. A lot of them you. do that. You could have a waiter come to your table and say, "Money," and they don't say, "Can I have? Give me my money." Catherine, am I wrong? Am I wrong? Yeah, I, that is rude. Give me my money. Number one, it's in food. my pocket. Buy. They don't ask you, can you buy me, buy me food? Like I'm, like I'm demanding that you do. I've had people do it on the streets. They will aggressively. I had one guy try to open my car door, and I pushed him off. And I don't like doing that. Physical altercation is not my main goal. But if somebody's reaching his arm in my in my car because I didn't have any change to give him. He aggressively tried to unlock my door. But I think a lot and of people... And I had people, to push him off my I door think, and say, what's wrong with you? I think the thing is a lot of people are stressed. Very, Very stressed. stressed. A lot of people are living the life they don't like. Mm. Uh, they're living hard life, so they're taking it to other people. That's it. I wish somebody could take these lives. I need to... Maybe somebody could do... And you know where you slice them up into different topics? Because there's a lot of topics. If somebody in the comments knows how to do that, y'all are welcome to use my videos for whatever you want. I mean, no, not for whatever you want. <laughs> some people will make some crazy stuff. <laughs> but if y'all want to like slice them up into like messages, Catherine says something you guys like, turn it into a short. We want to spread the message. Look at him. He's working so hard on that little house. Four pieces of wood. He's been working on it for about an hour. I love it. House. That house is gonna they be good. They were going to sleep there. It's a birdhouse, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna show him how to. I know he's not making a bird. I'm gonna show him how to make a birdhouse. He's got to drill all these holes around, and then we got to take it. We don't have the special saw we need to make it, but we'll use what we have. We can drill many, many holes, and then push the center out and smooth it out. Yeah. Team Truth says, Shalama Mark first saw you on Go Black and appreciate your genuine and rational views on Africa. The good, the bad, and the truth. Question, is there a list of African countries requiring the jab? First of all, thank you Team Truth for watching me back then and even now. And the list of countries requiring the jab, I don't think many, I think a lot of countries actually went back. They don't require some of them. I don't know many that do. I know they wanna see like, I don't know if they're still doing the whole show your certificate or show your vaccination card or show your um, your um, what is it proof of test. I don't know if they're still doing it, but I know a lot of countries went back on it. Hi, Mark. Hey, melanated people. Who, who sent me this? This oh, there it is. Had had a child says. Oh, they didn't say anything, but they sent this hug. Thank you, Had Hadacha. I hope I said that right. Hadacha. Sent twenty dollars. Mark, they have a home goods store. Okay, that person's asking again. Hey, Mark. Hey. I don't need any country is doing the jab thing anymore. Yeah. So Yanda B is saying that. I don't think any country is doing the jab. If you're right, Yanda B, then I haven't seen it. I agree with you. I don't think anyone's doing it anymore. Angela Bowden says, keep up the good work, Mark. May the Most High continue to bless and keep you. Thank you, Angela. 
thanks planning on making the trip to the motherland soon and there's this is important for me to know yeah team truth again how is merge doing merge is doing good we're here right now Blessings, shalom and blessings at Mark Meets Afri Africa and Catherine and all. Thank you, Iowa, Iowa Evans, Iowa, Iowa Evans. Talk Truth says, what happened to the useless guy, kid, whatever his name is, that was running around with all the women? Talk Truth, I don't know. I And, and I don't want to talk about him. I think I know who he's talking about. Yeah. But I know it was it wasn't just him. He just happened to be on YouTube doing. It. There was it was a wave of people that came here specifically to have sex with as many women as they can. And the weird thing is some of those people in that wave and I'm trying to say it without saying it, but they yeah, were purposely the impregnating seed. these women. They were like spreading their seed to as many women as possible and then leaving them. It's like they were intentionally doing that intentional and that seems a little strange it's counter building but they didn't come here to build somebody said hey tanzania is the place where women will let you have sex with them and leave them somebody said that captain somebody spread the word in some circle and a bunch of men came over here and that's what they were doing and they left all of them that i know of are gone so people are not even scared of diseases Don Moore says, stay a virgin or abstinence because wolves are out there. I believe you. Wanda L., I visited Rwanda and security is very professional and helpful. I hope so. That's got to come over here. Most fundies are not fundies. They don't usually have the skills or the proper tools. Yeah, Kiswahili Worldwide said that. They aren't fundies. Catherine, I'm telling you, the man that came here, our gardener James, was not a gardener. I don't know why he was here, but he wasn't a gardener. He didn't do anything. He didn't know how to do anything. He had all the tools after taking them from other people, but that man was not a gardener. At Mark Meets Africa is the center in Mbezi Beach, or yeah. what? It's the Merge Center, and it's right here across the. We're here right now. It's across the street from Jangwani Sea Breeze. It's right here in Mbezi Beach. Africana. I appreciate and love other women. I always say hi or give a compliment. Yeah. Americans hate price haggling. Fred Davis, yeah, we do. And it's not because we're cheap or we want to, you know, like people say, well, why don't you just pay them? You have more than them. Stop assuming we do, you know? And it's not that we, we think like, oh, they don't deserve it. No, we just want the right price. Most of us will tip. If given the right price, we'll say, here's a little extra because you were honest. But if you tell somebody, hey, you have to pay more, not only are you insulting my intelligence, but you're kind of sort of, what is the word? Prejudice towards me. Kevin, you have to pay more because you're a woman. How do you feel? Bad. So why do I have to pay more because I'm American? It should be people to people, not, and people will defend this behavior. They say, no, no, they're just, that's their life, but they would never do it to somebody they liked. So when you tell us this is a higher price, all you're really saying is, I don't like you. And nobody wants to do business with someone who doesn't like you. But I think this is everywhere. Like it's not only in a... In a it's not it's just not Tanzania. only in individual level or in the low level. Even when you go to these places like National Park. Even the National the, the, Park the, the, will the, charge the, you yes, more. Yes, they will charge you more. So They rely on you not knowing. So mm. the best way to prevent it is educate yourself. Tanzanians pay this. Why if... You in go Zanzibar. in America and you get, you get charged more than the, the citizens. No, you would never. Americans would be the ones getting the discount. But that's the thing though. You have it so that in Zanzibar it costs $35 for economy class for an American. Specifically, for a non-Tanzanian it's $35. Or no, non-African. Anyone that holds a, a Western passport, they specifically charge you more. On their website, asamferry.com, mm -hmm. they have a price for Americans and they have a price for Tanzanians. Tanzanians pay the equivalent of $7 to take the trip, $7 or $10. For Americans, that same economy ticket is $35. For Tanzanian, the v VIP section is $35. 
for an American, the VIP section is like 65 or 85 dollars. So economy for us costs the same as luxury for them. That's sad. That's not fair. That's not right. And it shows that either somebody dislikes us or somebody's taking advantage of us. And it's not to say we should feel bad because we have to pay more, but no, it's 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 sad to have two prices. We feel we yeah, feel why discriminated do I have against. To pay more? Why? Why do I have to pay What's more? The What's the difference between me and you? Your passport and the fact that you assume I have more money. And most of the times, yes, it's true, we do have. If we're coming on vacation, but it's still kind of sort of like, no matter how true it is, it still feels wrong saying this is different for you. You're taking the same boat, sitting in the same seats, and, and mine costs more. And that's not right. You hit the like button for this awesome. Oh, thank you, Yonder V, keeping the likes up. Took my TZ wife to Kenya and she was amazed with the great customer service. Tanzanians don't understand, a lot of them don't understand what the world outside of Tanzania is like. Because this is their world, some of them. We talked about this, Catherine. Lack of exposure. You helped me realize it. People don't people don't do this because they want to. Tanzania they do it because is, they don't know. Still living back back in the days. Like it, it, it's still living in the past, but but they, they see know. the but they see the country developing for the wrong people and it makes them bitter. Talk truth, exactly, Mark. They know they are being rude. Wow, we are far. These comments are from like 30 minutes ago. Yeah, because right now it's it's oh no, they're from 15 minutes ago, 12 minutes ago. Exactly, Mark. They know they are being rude, but they don't care and they will be nice to the to the white guys. Mm, yes, that, they said to the guys. She's talking about the women, but I'm gonna specify it. They'll be nice to any white person. White people, yeah. And you will see the top-notch customer service that somehow. But how can we get off, uh, rid of this? Education. You teach them that that's not okay. And if enough people come and say that's not okay, if enough people stand up, maybe it'll change. But maybe they'll just say we don't like Black Americans, and they'll put it. But I want to see somebody put a sign on the door that says no African Americans allowed, because that'll tell us exactly what they think about us. And that's what happens sometimes. They will actually treat you worse when they know you're African American because they think you're pretending to be the thing that they love so much. They say, you've lived in America and all you can do is complain about it. That's a, Somebody told me that. It was a man. He said, we think you African Americans are crazy because you've lived in this place that's so good and you're complaining about it. And I, all I could say to him was really. And I walked away, Cap. This was like two years ago. I never forget that he said that. We think you're, we think you're crazy. I don't know if he was speaking for everyone. I don't think he was, but he did say it like he was. Okay, guys, I'm gonna start. Appreciate the true pipe. Okay, guys, I'm gonna skip down to the bottom of these comments. Black children in America are suffering from the hostile racial tensions. I would appreciate a video. I would appreciate videos for the cultural literacy program to uplift these kids yeah yeah they are they need to see that they can do it too and when they see that and their confidence is up there things change vp from tanzania vp fiona okay guys i'm sorry y'all let me maybe you go down first coming back up economy 30k well 30k is still like ten dollars ten twelve dollars but yeah it's less 30k versus 35 dollars in shillings 35 dollars is what eighty thousand shillings so there's is is, is is ours is triple is 88 or eighty nine thousand. the price we pay is triple three they not double they do that even at the airport even at somebody the airport somebody showed me you know i was uh, i was going to to like our plane tickets cost more no when when i was going to take to pick up these guests at the airport and i always go there and negotiate with the tanzania price yeah then they will be telling me the very very local price like thirty thousand for like maybe from airport to maybe from to um when yeah you know so um but they showed me like they have a paper a mm -hmm. piece of paper written like tanzania would pay this 
Yeah. And American will pay like which is equivalent to eighty like three thousand. Times eighty thousand. Three times more. It's always three times more. Here. So it's better you find a person or you 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 book a Uber mm -hmm. to go to a place that you want. But even Uber, you don't have to trust this because they will maybe they they might be like taking too long long you know when they like yeah they used to do that the way lot. is here they will be turning other way so yeah. that the the, the, the money more. can add up what she's describing happened thing. to me it used to be a very common occurrence because i would take bolt which is like uber yeah and i would take uber and they do this thing all the drivers i saw have this one tendency. person did this i was going to i, I was going to uh Sleepway. There are two ways. There yeah. is a, another way which is so long. Mm -hmm. I was the good thing I was watching on the map. Yeah. Like if it he, he passed this way, it's very close. Yeah. You know, you know what this Bajaji driver? He what decided did he do? to turn another way which was so long. Wow. Then I said, if this price is going to add up, I'm going to give him Argue. the first price. Yeah that we agreed and he'll then waste he, his fuel yes he wasted his fuel because i didn't give him the money which added up he added up mm -hmm. it was it was supposed to be six thousand it was seven thousand that's how they do it y'all what was and happening when i told him like you i did i know what you was doing he was mm. like uh, uh, uh they play nothing dumb. you can say uh what what do you mean yeah but that was happening to me a lot y'all because every yeah. time I would get into, I'd say, are you taking a longer route to get more? I would ask him directly, yeah, are, you, are taking, you taking a longer route to I'm get more money? Pay. And I tell him, exactly, Captain knows. Because I ain't going to pay you. And I'll look at him, I'll look at him while they're driving like this, the whole trip. The side eye the whole time, I say, I'm not going to pay you, by the way. And then sometimes they'll actually go back on the route. And I'll show them the map, I'll say, you know which way you're supposed to be going. It calculates the shortest possible route to give me the best possible price. And you're going the longest route and thinking, I don't know what you're doing. I said, no, I'm not paying more. You yeah. just wasted your fuel. And then they start arguing with you, sir, you have to pay. I said, I don't have to pay you. We agreed on this price because the app tells you how much you're supposed to pay. Some of these You don't get to go further I and say, I need 10,000 more. They're getting overcharged because they think they can be by themselves mm -hmm. at the first place. You know, you need any I was by myself, Catherine. I told them, even Some in the boat, of, I figured they you. would do Some it. Some of you know, one time I was going to Kareko with this guest. Yeah. And we were finding the bag which cost like 10,000. And yeah. you know, Mark, there are bags that cost 10,000. Yeah. And you know, this guy said, when this guy, uh, we were asking for the bag, and the yeah. guy said, like, 15 or 20,000. I said, no, we are looking for the bag which is costing like 10,000. And you know what he said, like, you guys, you're making it so hard to, to do, us to, to cheat get. us. So then I said, I, I, you know, I didn't answer his him. He said, like, do you think this person can move from, he said, Dubai, mm. from Dubai to come to pay 10,000 here? Uh, and he'll he, be mad. He, they, they very have, mad at God, me. Listen to what she's very saying. Very mad at What me. she's describing is bitterness. Mm -hmm. They're bitter about so it. Then, a lot of them I think say, that no. you're coming over here. With, I'm sorry to interrupt, but you're coming over here with a lot of money, yeah. like an infinite amount of money. So they get mad when another, when a Tanzanian tries to help you get a good deal. They get looked down on mm -hmm. by police if they Anybody. don't help. If you don't help the police scam a foreigner, you might be in legal trouble later. If you don't help the shopkeeper scam a foreigner, you might pay more later. If you don't help a, 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 a tour guide scam a foreigner, you're having, you, you get someone having an issue with you because you tried to do right by me. And it's sad because it's like, dang, it's such an established system of getting over on the foreigner. And it is getting over. Don't say, well, that's the life and they're trying to make money. No. You're getting over on someone. When the price is different for each person, it's not a good business, it's not fair. Mm -hmm. This isn't about, oh, well, we can pay more. No, just have a tip jar and say, I accept tips if you think I did a good job. We'd happily give a tip. But when you tell somebody that you have to pay more and you'll have people that would rather not sell you the item at the correct price because they feel some type of yeah, way about you paying like, the right price. Sometimes it's like, I remember when I went to like to they Dodoma, I was helping. in college at first time. Remember that I didn't know Dodoma mm -hmm. at the first time. So I was going there and it was cold. Then mm -hmm. I said, let me buy a coat, okay. like a sweater. And you know, there was a lady who came like, you know, they're selling like clothes around yeah. like 
uh, door to door sellers. And then she said for the court was like 8,000. Hey. Then I said, hey, like, uh, can you reduce the price? He accept she accepted 4,000. I said, no, I'm Half not going price. to buy. I'm not going to but buy. But remember those this, pants? This, this might be cheaper. Yeah. There is a video coming. When they like when we were like buying, we were shopping at Karyoko and it was at night. And Mark was like negotiating. So, eh, make sure that you go down. Like don't accept the first price. Or the second. Or the if, second. If they take it too quick, it's not the right it's price. It's not the right price. If they say 20000 and you say, can you do 10? And, and they don't argue, they say, like, okay, okay, no problem. Hey. Go down another five. <laughs> Go down another five because the right price is probably 4000 <laughs> And you give them a 1000 more. Because they won't accept. No, I'm sorry. If they, if, and that's sad that you have to think like this. How can I go to the market? What's my strategy for shopping for groceries? <laughs> Wait a second. What? You need a strategy to not get overcharged. They will charge you American price because they'll do research. How much do Americans pay for tomatoes? And they don't think, okay, yeah, they're in I, another. I so they know. assume you want to pay the same price. I know people want to get to make money, you know. People That's want not to the make way to money. make money. People have to get money. But at the end of the time, don't do like the crazy price, you yeah. know. Charging a person uh, uh, 8000 mm. for uh, uh, for chipsy, which costs like 2000 And a everybody pineapple. knows. I knew a woman. Pineapple she was buying is like 1000 And then you're charging 4000 Can I, Can I tell them? I knew a woman who was paying eight thousand for a pineapple, and she bragged about it at one of these. Um, it was this. Uh, what was it? A diaspora get together sort of. It was like a meet and greet or something like that. And she, I heard the conversation. I'm nosy, and I sometimes. And I heard it. She's like, "Yeah," and I get these big old pineapples. They eight thousand. I turned. I said eight thousand, but right now it's pineapple season. They should only be at the time five hundred. Yes. Five hundred shillings. She was paying sixteen times the price. Six. Wait. Let me put that into context. You're in America. You go into Walmart, and you buy uh, a soda for a dollar. Imagine paying the equivalent of $16 for that same soda. She was paying, even though 8000 is like $3. Even if it depends with the place, there is no way pineapple yeah. could, could cost like 8000 She was 8, paying, 000. and she way was talking about it like it was normal. And nobody, nobody in that group of women she was speaking to said, Girl, that's too high. Nobody. I turned around and I said, you should only be paying 500 at most 1000 Now it's 2000 or 1000 2000 because of the, the time and the uh, prices going up. But at the time, 500 shillings or 1000 And when, she, when, when I told her this, she said something like, what did she say? She got defensive. Like, you know when you tell someone they're not getting a good no, price? No, Mark, even me, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want. You know yeah, that she time. said, but we have it. We should give it to her. Yeah. I know this feeling where no. you just say, you know what, because you look bad. That, but she, like, I didn't know hurts. the price and she thinks her Boda it's driver hard. is her friend. It hurts a lot. They're not your friend. They want money. Not saying all of them, but get a friend here. Don't say, oh, the shopkeeper down the street. That's my friend because he waves at me in the morning. No, you just happen to be the customer that'll pay his daily yeah. wage in a in a in a in five minutes. His what he makes in a day, you'll pay for one pineapple. If he was gonna sell eight pineapples that day for the whole day, even in the all state, it doesn't cost like that. It don't even cost do you three dollars in the state. Do you buy eight like pineapple might be that price? That might be that price. But like three dollars, that's not a lot. But here, that's too much. That's why the money is The money, going people up. lose yeah. all their money when they come here. Because they come to Africa. And pay American dollars. price. Yeah. They pay more, some people are paying more than American price here. Yeah. And it's sad to think that they think they're living for cheap just because the rent is lower and they're still paying too much for rent. But just because the rent is lower, they excuse the high price for food. When that's not the price for food. You could get a big old plate of rice and some meat and some beans and some vegetables, Catherine, for 70 cents. Maybe this person went to buy at the, at the, at the supermarket. No, Catherine, she was getting it from the person outside of her house 
I've been to her neighborhood. It's a wooden shack selling fruit. No way that person's selling for 8000 Guys, I'm going to end this soon. Um, yeah, y'all been streaming for three hours. Thank you guys for uh, watching, but we got to go dig a hole for this furniture. And um, Before it gets dark. It's already dark. <laughs> from morning till dark thank you guys for being here thank you for everybody that gave me a little bit of cash to help me out and um yeah Catherine, you want to say anything thank you guys don't forget to subscribe to me. don't forget to subscribe to Catherine's channel uh i'm gonna put the link in the description i'm also gonna put my cash app for the one sister that wanted to give me a little something something but uh yeah guys peace out and bye they should realize that without price consistency, they cannot project their profits. They cannot pre project predict what their profits will be. As a business owner, how can they plan for buying future inventory? They don't. But it is what it, they have a minimum price though. So I guess they just, everything extra is extra for them. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Peace. Catherine over here looking at the comments. 8k for a pineapple she needs to go home yeah salama what is the criteria for us in the u.s to not come to africa mm. honestly dishonesty is dishonesty rudeness is rudeness hold on let me take a screenshot of that that's what i'm telling culture and poverty are no excuse Wait, let me get this. Key Swahili Worldwide, I want to do an interview with you. You just spoke the truth. A lot of people can't accept what you just said. Mm. People want to excuse it and say, but that's the culture. No, it's not. Otherwise, the culture is rude. So stealing is culture. Stealing Why is culture. Lying is culture. It's not. Let's do a video on that. Y'all want to see a video on that? It's coming. I don't know when, but it's coming. Catherine, I pray. Mm -hmm. They say, Catherine, oh, where is it? Ooh, it done disappeared. Catherine, I pray when I come, you will speak up for this elder. Our senior pay for working all our lives isn't much. Yeah. Retirement. Mm -hmm. They saying it's not enough. You should speak up about Retirement. it. Retirement. <laughs> yeah. I see. So, yeah. like, because, you know, they're saying mm. these elders coming here mm. are on retirement. They worked their whole lives. Mm. Catherine, they worked 60 years, some of them, to get the retirement. And the retirement is not very much for the work they've done. Yeah. And they're coming here and somebody's trying to cheat Cheating, them out. Of yeah. That's a, that's a shame to the elders. Very, very. That's, that's more than disrespectful. Mm. Seeing an elder as an opportunity is, is like seeing a child yeah, as an let's opportunity. Finish this Both are bye. disgusting. Bye, guys. Bye, y'all. Peace out. Thank you. Night.